the bat, if you, they, if you don't even build <laughs> the anticipation. You just... Fuck today. Tomorrow comes movies. This is Steve Downs, the voice of Master Chief, Spartan 117. And you're tuned in to Tomorrow Comes the Movies. Finish the fight. What's going on? Welcome to another episode of Tomorrow Comes Movies. We are the podcast that talks beyond movies, including video games, not music, comics, television, Star Wars, pop culture, Funko, anime, and much more. As always, your hosts are the Patrick and... Carissa. No worries, Cap. We're always on your left. Episode 83. Yay. I almost forgot. All right, so without you messing anything else up, <laughs> you want to introduce... Oh, our... me messing something up? Giggler over there? Yeah, I'm a giggler. You want to introduce our two guests? Yes. Yeah, so we have very... Oh, yeah, very... See, I knew it, so I didn't want to... can do it, Patrick. <laughs> we have two very special people here with us, Chuck and Shannon. How are you guys doing? I think we should get some more beer. Great. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. As they watch me, like, seriously look at this mic not to mess up that intro. I would have made eye contact. I would have started dying laughing. You are seducing that mic. Oh, my goodness. So, Chuck was on episode 40. Now, I know you never remember the episodes, but it was the mustache. Was that long ago? Yeah, it was the mustache madness. Oh, my God. When we were talking about Henry Cavill possibly exiting Superman. September. I remember you. September. I think it oh might have been right before, or yeah, right before Fan X. Solid. Huh. How do you not remember this? You need to start doing Sudoku or a Sudoku. You know, I don't know what it's called, but your your Sudoku. Sudoku. <laughs> your you memory know, is going. I found out that that Alzheimer's does run in my family. My mom told me recently, and I'm like, you waited 28 years to tell me this. Like, no wonder I forget you all the time. But she also said in that conversation <laughs> that she's told you this multiple times, so I think you're already experiencing it. <laughs> Possibly. She tells you this every time you bring it up. You're like, wait, so what are we doing again? <laughs> I have a memory problem, and Patrick's just pointing out to everyone that Chris doesn't remember anything. Because I don't you remember. You won't. I bring up something, and she's like, I don't remember. Like, I could be like, hey, we talked about this in the last episode. She's like, I don't I have no, on like, episode. once we record, I have no memory of what I said. And that's a true. Or what we talked about. That's a thing. If you have memories that you don't access in your brain, they just kind of go to the They fade side. away. But I remember all because I listened to it over and over. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to listen to us anymore. That's my honest opinion. I don't like hearing us once we're done, but I have to. You, not. you only need to worry when like something serious is going on that you forget. Like, that's true. Like forget name forget or... to wipe your ass. Oh, that'd be that's bad. You like, forget to open a door as you're walking through it. You forget that DC well, makes bad movies. Bad Some of us do that naturally. That's true. You're so dumb. I think they even heard you say they that. Didn't hear that. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, when DC makes bad movies, but no one acknowledges it. Oh, Outside yeah. of Shazam. We weren't acknowledging it. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder Woman, you can't forget. Wonder Woman's good. Martha. Martha, Batman vs. Superman. Oh, no. no. Never. All right. Never. So, we've known them for a long time. So, I met Chuck when I was working security. Actually, most of the time, falling asleep until he would come into work. Because <laughs> at that last hour, I would always be like, I gotta get the fuck home. Thank God I don't do it anymore. Because, yeah, uh, that, but now I drink coffee. So, the whole time oh, I didn't drink coffee. Now. Never drink coffee. He's a coffee drinker yeah. now. When we were, actually when we were in Chicago and Seattle, I only ordered one coffee because I'm a coffee drinker. And he goes, "Let me have some." I'm like, okay. Five minutes later, I'm like, "Hey, what's a cup?" Oh, I drank it, and I'm like, "You motherfucker!" I'd only do that iced coffee. Was mine. So I had to learn to drink hot coffee. And I think if I would have drank hot coffee the whole time, I would have been fine at that job. But uh, I would just drink soda. I'm like, I can't do it anymore. I teach him how to put cream and sugar in his coffee because he didn't know how to do that. But nothing ever happened at the job. <laughs> but nothing ever happened at the job if I had fallen asleep for like 10 minutes. Because I'd always, I would always wake myself up like, oh my god, someone broke in. <laughs> well, I never drank coffee until we moved here in 2012. Oh, really? And we lived uh, temporarily with my sister and brother alone. She had a cure and she's like, just try it. And he, Chuck was always a coffee drinker. Yeah. So I tried it and I'm like, oh, I kind of. I like this. 10-pot coffee maker all for myself. For oh, yeah. Three years. I got addicted in, in college because I try to take, like, a full schedule and work, like, more than 40 hours a week. And I hated myself because I got, like, no sleep. And I had, like, three papers literally each week. And I'm like, okay, that's it. Coffee it is. And I got hooked. And, like, everyone, now I got a headache. Everyone listening to this podcast is like, why the fuck are they talking about coffee? Because coffee is delicious and coffee but, warms your heart. Oh, well, yeah. I met Chuck. 
uh, when, he, when I was working security. Because we go on a tangent. Yeah, we go on a tangent. Yeah. And then we met Shannon. Yes. His wife, which we've talked about in our Funko videos. So I, I think yes. We, yeah, so, I mean, people know certain names. They just... We're trying to build this lore that there's other people in the Tomorrow Comes Movies universe. We exist. We, yeah. weren't, we weren't snapped away. No. So this whole episode, we are talking about Avengers Endgame. Yeah. Because I realize there's no way that we can fit one hour into doing this review. I feel like there's going to be... Everyone has a different perspective. You know what I'm talking about. You think we can go two hours? Yes. Really? We, went we just went on a five-minute tangent about that is, that is extremely <laughs> true. We just, we just, that is true. Okay, we did, you're we right. We recently did a, a Star Wars trailer reaction for an hour. Yeah, that's true. Because everyone has, you know, everyone has a perspective. Now, the number one rule is, if you don't know, you do not interrupt Chris when she's talking because she will forget. Hence the memory <laughs> so, problems. So anybody that comes on to this podcast will not interrupt her. Interrupt me if you need to. It's like a running gag. Like, if ever you do, don't interrupt Carissa. Because... A few times that we had I sound like a diva. I told him, stop telling people this. She's not a diva. That's why I have pen and paper. Perfect. So I can write it down. So, with Avengers Endgame, pretty simple synopsis. This is the events that happened after 2018's Infinity War, with the heroes desperate to undo the Thanos snap and bring back all their friends, including Howard the Duck. No one asked that question, whatever happened to Howard the Duck. No Nobody one cares. cares. Thank you, Chuck. I, Thank I, you. I, I care. <laughs> I like that guy. No. Did you like him, Sean? Um, when I was when it came out in the eighties, and I watched it. I mean, now if they decide to remake it, I don't think I would even see it. I also was sad about Cosmo the dog from the first Guardians too. I, I was, was like, saying. what happened to him as well? So I don't. I'm not gonna go through all the names. I think if you're listening to this podcast, you know who's in Infinity War. I hope. I mean, excuse me, Endgame. You know who's in Endgame? That too. So, Chris, how do we start this off? So, we're going to start off with our spoiler-free section. This is where Carissa doesn't talk much because she's going to spoil the movie. <laughs> I don't know how, you know? Like, I, I don't mean to spoil things. It just it, Actually, what's funny is my coworkers, the next day, they go, I want to ask you how the movie was, but don't spoil it. And I'm like, oh, you're so funny. Um... You want me to tell the story? So I went to go pick up some at Walmart real, or yesterday to pick up some Funkos, actually. And the guy goes, did you see uh, Endgame? I don't want to keep saying Infinity War. Endgame, I said, yeah. He goes, well, tell me what happens. Like, tell me everything. Oh, all the spoilers. And so I said, are you sure? He goes, yeah. So I tell him everything, right? He goes, all right, cool. I'm going to go in my uh, the break room right now and spoil it for everyone. <laughs> and I feel so bad. That is so fucked up. I, 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 go, oh, my I, God. I hit every one of them. I told him everything. And he goes, I'm going to go spoil it. And he ran. Fuck that guy. Yeah, he ran back there. That's he's, probably, he's probably dead right now. What a dick. But we're going to get in the spoil section for, okay. uh, spoiler free section for Endgame because uh, you can moderate who goes first. Um, Chuck, you get to go first. I get Your to go first. Your spoiler-free review. Who's, who's going to try to have like the, like, the most spoilers-free, I don't even know if that's a word, section without ruining it. One of us will ruin it on accident. It's hard to, like... It's Won't hard, be dude. It's hard. Like, the movie, from the beginning, like, set my stress level through the roof. <laughs> and it was before the even opening title. Yeah. So, I was buckled in, ready for this ride. I even posted on Facebook before the movie started. <laughs> that is we true. I got I put, an email that you tagged me. That was put, so funny. I'm ready. I put, and I quote, I'm ready. That was so funny. Because I thought I was. Were you? I was not. At the end of that movie, uh, I felt like I went through 15 rounds with Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> My body was just, was just not was not prepared for that. There was a lot of ups and downs, a lot of emotions involved. And, uh, Why do you look at me when you say emotion? Yeah. Did he bite your ear off when you did the 15 rounds with Tyson as well? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he kicked my ass. He kicked my ass. Mike Tyson is the Russo Brothers, by the way. So, <laughs> for those listening. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's the easiest way I can He did it, but he was like treading, he was treading carefully. <laughs> so, I did, and that was good. That's, that's all, that's all I can say. That was good. Right that's now. pretty good, huh? That's, really that's good. pretty good, yeah. 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 It takes a hero to go first. <laughs> Dude, I'm sweating. Like, you guys, Jesus. We're all, we're all staring Put at me on the spot. Huh. <laughs> all right, Shannon, it's your turn. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> when we were leaving the house yesterday to meet you guys at the theater, I said to Chuck, I have butterflies in my stomach. Yeah. And he's like, why? I'm like, because I don't know what's going to happen. And I, I, that was the first movie that I cried that much since Han Solo died. I mean, spoiler, thank you. Spoiler alert. 
Yeah, spoiler alert! If you didn't know, Han Solo died. In the Force that was the Awakens. last time I got. I got uh, almost shed a tear, but I got real teary. I mean, we had a fistful of napkins, and I had used them all by the end of the movie, and I was mad at myself for being that emotional about it. But that's, they're a part of our lives. Yeah, they're a part of our lives. That's a big shout out to the writers and directors of that of this whole. I laugh. Are you crying? Looks like you're getting teary eyed yourself. A little bit. I got mad. You know what? A little bit. I'm not gonna a little lie. Bit. We all get teary eyed. It's getting, rough. I'm Matt. getting that clog nose, pre- Priya. You it's know. like you you're thinking about what you want to say and you're remembering the movie. Yeah. It's like okay, well, yeah. especially in this section, it's like oh, don't spoil shit, don't spoil shit. Yeah, it's like it's, really it's like oh, but that scene, oh, it's like my heart ripped out. You know what I yeah. mean? It's and it was really hard with Shannon sit to my left. Uncontrollably sobbing. That's not true. It wasn't uncontrollable. <laughs> there was no audible. There was audible. There was no okay. audible sobs. Okay. Anyway. And then, you know, I'm sitting next to her. Patrick's right next to me. And I'm like, I got a man up. You got to press the wizard. I got my boy next to me. I'm like, hey. You got to press the wizard. I got to show him I'm cool, man. And then there, there was one scene that we'll probably talk about later that I, I felt it. It hit the corner of my eyelid. My nose got clogged up, and I was like, nope, mm-mm, ain't doing it, but it's it, it got me. It got me, it got me it good. Did. I think it was a good movie overall. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. I have a lot of things to say. It's so hard. I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> yeah. It's hard. Are we going to rock, paper, scissors, scissors next? You, you, okay, you're the modern. Pick who you want to go. <laughs> you want to go? Is this your chance? Um, they haven't spoiled it. Who's going to do it? So one of us going to lay it so out. Right, that right, that is so fucked up. Um, <laughs> Pick a number between one and ten. You want to go? Really? Uh, okay. Seven. Patrick? Eight. What was the number? Seven. Oh, fuck my life. <laughs> Why would you pick eight? Who, like, who picks the next number up? Price Not is the right. price is right. Oh, like, Patrick. I, I'm a fan of the, the number eight. <laughs> Okay, so me. Excuse me. <laughs> Why? Why eight? I don't. Okay, this is gonna, it's it's a weird tangent, but real quick, I used to play NBA Live Line and make my own player. Yeah, the well, I wanted the number that nobody would ever have, so I used to make thirty eight because I wanted to do eight, but I would always have to add a three because there's a lot of players that have had eight. It's, it's thirty eight, so that's it. That's why I did it. Anyway, but you're, back back to my spoiler free. Gave me fun. some. It gave me some time to think what I want to say. Um, I would say this movie. There's no way you're going to figure this movie out. And I think we had sure. said that in our predictions. Oh, yeah. We'll have to go through our predictions. Um, yeah. Did you write them down? No. Neither did I. Okay. Well, we're going to have to go off top of our heads. But this movie was so good. It was an emotional roller coaster. You've invested so much time with these characters that they feel real to you. And I want to say one thing. Patrick made one prediction. He said Carissa was going to cry at least three times in this movie. I cried five times the first showing and four times the second showing. And I cried within the first five minutes of the movie. It was like, I was like teary eyed. I was like, oh shit. It's going to be one of those things. And I like ugly cried at the very end, <laughs> like where I had to take off my eyelashes the first time because I didn't wear eyelashes the, the second. I, I know, right? <laughs> because they were coming off, so I just take off my eyelashes because I was crying. That was the, the first s- thing you screamed at the end of that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't put my eyelashes. Well, they're brand new, and if you get them wet, like they don't keep the same shape. So I was really pissed off. Use your natural eyelashes. Though. Are you no, I don't like to. They're small. So the second show, I'm like, don't wear your eyelashes. Just don't do it, Krista. But don't this, do it to yourself. Yeah, you already know. You're going to fucking Whatever cry. Whatever it takes. Yeah, you're going to cry. You know, just, just don't do it. But this movie was so good. And I do have gripes, <laughs> which is, you know, not, it's, it's common for me. No movie's perfect. No movie is perfect, but I, I do feel like it was nice to see everything tied in together. Yeah. And that's all I can say because I'm going to spoil it. <laughs> when I first saw this movie, I did not know how to process this correctly because I thought that Infinity War, the stakes were a little bit higher, even though this is the end game. But I actually didn't, the second view when we saw it with you two, I actually enjoyed it a lot more. I got to, like, it was basically like the first time I went on this, like the first time I was a kid, I went on this huge roller coaster. I was like, fuck this. My stomach hurts. I don't want to do this anymore. Second time, it was like, oh, this is actually kind of a fun ride. Like, you just kind of. Just let it happen. And then I caught more things. That's why I want to watch it again. We should actually all watch it again soon. We want to um, watch it in IMAX next weekend <laughs> because, you're, yeah, we because you can get a mini poster oh. at AMC. Uh, 
Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Advertising here? Yeah. <laughs> but no, I think I think it's a really good movie because, like you, you three have said, we invested 11 years. Yeah. 20, this is what, 23rd movie in their whole thing? This is 23rd. Yes. And 23rd, I think it is. And we go through these emotions. This is the one thing about this film is there are several different emotions that you feel. Without spoiling them, but, you know, you're going to laugh, you're going to cry, you're going to, it's going to be heartbreaking, it's going to be rewarding, and there's going to be optimism. You feel all this stuff. Basically, to me, the way I describe my second view of this, it's like when I buy a pop, a Funko Pop from a store, and I get the box, but it looks like it's been wrecked. But when I open up, when I open up the package, the pop is in mint condition. That's how I felt going through this whole thing was... I'm a pop that's supposed to come to me in mint condition, but I got wrecked halfway through in my journey. I could, I could feel that. Part of the journey. It's such a good analogy. Part of the journey is the end. So one thing I like this that you also, you three mentioned was this is the end. And I like that, that there is no, you know, without really spoiling it, but, you know, they, they really do live up to the promise. This is the end of this Infinity Saga without spoiling anything. This is the end of the Infinity Saga. Yeah, it's a masterpiece in my opinion because of how they balance. We have a lot of characters, a lot are, of different storylines. Yeah, a lot of different. Yes. They did a really good job. Now I do have gripes. At one point, we were actually discussing something which will bring us to this section. <laughs> but um, it's it's a good film. Yeah, uh, I did not cry. One of my predictions yeah. was, but I did get teary eyed. Yeah, so like that's considered crying. Your, yeah, tear, but, your tear ducts were yeah, activated. You have little extra moisture in your eyes. Your tear ducts activated. Is it, but it wasn't as bad as, as Han Solo. I mean, when Han Solo went, I was like, that's it. I almost <laughs> threw up. <laughs> I was Man. so, like, that devastated. When, I, when we saw it the second time, we, we saw it with Shannon's sister. And my nephew. And we so we knew what was coming up. It was their first time. And I'm crying already because I know, you know what's going to happen. Up. You're she like, was the same thing when you, when you weren't looking with Infinity War. She's like, oh so, my God, it's coming up. So the second it happens, when Kylo yeah. goes through Han Solo, I hear this audible, <laughs> from three, I don't know if that was too loud or not, but no, that's, that's about <laughs> as loud as it was. It was Three just, seats over, yeah. and it was her sister losing her fucking mind. My sister lost her shit. She the, the was theater was audible packed. Crying. Every seat was filled, and sh- this is all you hear is my sister crying hysterically. She's doing it. And my oldest nephew <laughs> leans over and he throws up his hands like, oh my god, it was so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> he was 11. Yeah. And I was well, like, well, that's your mom. But we can, we can take that analogy, though, because that's that applies to this film, that, that there was a lot of people, including Carissa, who you know lost it because it's it's an emotional film. Mm-hmm. That's the best way to describe it. It's an emotional film. And I Actually, think- I just read right before we started recording that this woman in North Carolina had to go to the hospital. Okay. Because to settle down. because of her, <laughs> she couldn't. She was con- crying uncontrollably that her hands and her feet went numb. Okay. I don't know how that happened. I don't know if well, she must have been like hyperventilating, hyperventilating yeah. because then because then your body will. I know. Because then your body goes into like this like f- like flight mode and yep. like you're just pumping oxygen here and you lose here and you, yep. you cramp up. Yep. You need potassium. Yep. She also and Ivy. She realized that she wasn't bad at Thanos in real life, right? <laughs> she's up here like, oh my god. And she's like well, getting beat up. I don't know if I could cry like that to no, go to so. the hospital, but But that tells you what these guys did yeah. with, this, with this series, with the saga. And what it means to people. And to take your analogy. And I'm just gonna kind of tweak on it. <laughs> your your busted Funko box box. It came in mint condition. Was though. probably Infinity Wars. So you were broken going into this yeah. movie. That is true. You do go. You me. don't know what the hell is gonna happen. That is true. You don't know what's going on. You don't that know. That's true. You really don't know like who's actually there. That's true. Actually, to add on that. That is true. All the theories that you have are wrong. Yeah. To yeah. a certain extent. Like in the sense of no matter like uh, without it's not really spoiler, but no matter what you believe, mm-hmm. this film is good at like at flipping the script. I could never exactly. figure it out either. Like I would sit there and be like, okay, this is gonna happen. Yeah, no. never take all the rumors happen. you've heard, throw them out the window. Yep. Don't go in expecting anything. Yep. Throw that out the window, and uh, make sure you got some some Kleenex. Yes, please. <laughs> but then. Your your mint condition actual. Funko it was a grill pop, pop, by the way. I forgot to mention that part too. That your mint condition actual pop figure <laughs> is the end of that movie. That is true. That's true. So that's why you you were laughing so loudly, but I understood what he was saying. He's laughing so loudly. <laughs> <laughs> What's what? 
<laughs> your eyes. We'll play. We'll play it back. It's okay. Are you ready to get the spoil? I know. You, you, I can see in your eyes. You, you want to say wrap it up, but you can't. Okay, so now we're gonna jump into the spoiler section for Avengers Endgame. If you have not watched the movie and you do not want the movie to be ruined, yeah, as if it hasn't been ruined for a lot of people. <laughs> don't listen and come back and listen when you watch the movie. Well, don't. If you matter. don't care and you want the movie to be ruined, then keep on listening. We're about to ruin it for you. Yeah, we <laughs> are. We're gonna dive right into it. Exactly. Are we in and out? We're in it now. We're Iron in the Man We're in the end game now. <laughs> oh my god. Why That's the guys? first thing you do? Wow, dude. Right if, off the bat, if you, they, if you don't even build <laughs> the anticipation. You just flat out say Iron it's Man It's like dies. a band they just rip it off. Yeah. I told them, you gave them the warning. So <laughs> you didn't give me the warning. It hurts. Black Widow dies. <laughs> it's too soon, man. It is. It too hurts. Soon. Too Actually, soon. you know what? I think Iron Man hurt the most. I like, I could, I like ugly cried that my eyelashes were, my fake eyelashes were coming. I know, like I'm gonna start crying right now. It was so painful. You want to talk about the desk? I'm gonna monitor this part. Yeah, you pretty much just flat out said we should start from the beginning. You want to start from the beginning? You want to do the the desk? I don't know what you want to do. Let's do the death. Let's just, I'll just go. I have a, I wrote that basically. Why don't, (laughs) why don't, why don't you tell me what to do then? We'll, we'll talk about the deaths okay. since I already said it. I hope somebody didn't listen to it and heard that part. Because I'm like, shut it off. <laughs> yeah, like, what if they went to the bathroom? I would and be came back? so pissed. But I'll off. give them. I'll give them three seconds. So then, if you still listen, you're an idiot. I'm like, <laughs> <"Our man does." laughs> I should put that as an intro. Oh my god, can you imagine that? No. But we'll talk about the death. So, Chris, you can go ahead and take it since you're already, you're already discussing the biggest death. I guess. Because you said realm. it first. Yeah, I know. I'm on the room for everyone. Who, who's wow. already seen it. Wow. Wow. Like, if it was still fresh, it's well, like, wow. Well, I think first what I'm going to say is my prediction was Captain America was going to die. So you're back on Cap like that. And yeah. Iron Man was going to retire. You two thought the same thing? I thought, really? Yeah. I thought it was the opposite. I never predicted that Iron Man would die. I didn't think um, that Especially know. when you see the movie and you see he has a little girl and he's married. Yeah. And it's so nice to see how far Tony has came from the first Iron Man. You know what I mean? Like how much he's matured. Yeah. What, what is he saying? Playboy. Uh, uh, oh, Playboy. Playboy philanthropist. philanthropist. Uh, yeah. I forgot. Millionaire. Yeah, billionaire. Guess, billionaire. Yeah. Billionaire, uh, billionaire playboy philanthropist. Like, yeah. They take the suit away. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and so, like, that, that at the very end, just like, it really does fuck you up inside. Yeah. I think so. Like, because that wasn't, it did for that me. wasn't him. Yeah, he was just a normal father, husband. You know, and, and they had to convince him to come back and do this, mm-hmm. to be part of their, their, End game plan in, in a sense, and he resisted. He did because of his family, family you know. Until and he accidentally figured out how to do it. it wasn't an it. accident. Yes, it was. He knew he was going to figure it out. He did not. Yes, he did. Yeah, he did. Why else would he? I think he try? did. He yes, knew. yes. He wanted to see. If I actually, I'm, I'm with Chuck. I don't think he knew, but I think he he liked the challenge. He, he lived a normal life. And they bring him this proposition. He's like, you know, that that ah. scientist that roof starts kicking. He's like. Maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna be the jerk and pretend like I don't care, but it bothered him yeah. enough. He, he was probably like, "There's no way this that they're even There's no remotely way to do close." It. Let me take a peek. I moved on. Uh-huh. I have a family. I mean, I did pretty well compared to you guys. Right. <laughs> I hit the lottery. Right. Like, he's coming to who? Yeah. You know. And then he sat there and looked at their their plan, and he's like, "Well, no. Well, if you do this, and then it works." I didn't mean to snap. Hope everybody's still okay. <laughs> Um, he snapped at the same time. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, don't worry about what that, what's going yeah, on. Don't, yeah. Ignore but, uh, the man behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> what were you were saying? I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm he, all like he into kinda, it now. Like, he, kinda, he, he was doing his thing and he was looking through their plan and it wasn't working. And he, he pulled one of his, oh, let's try this thing over here. And then, you know, when, when it showed him that, hey, this will work. Just the look on his face, he was like, "Holy shit, I'm this pretty can't work. <laughs> I still got it. This, yeah, <laughs> I am worthy." <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, he sat down, he said shit, and his daughter said it. And that was adorable. Fucking love that part. That's adorable. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I like. I think that it was necessary. I think that 
these 22 films, whether or not he was in it or not, it was designed since the first Iron Man to prove not only was he the first hero to be out, because Captain Marvel doesn't count because she she, she, she hit it, but he's the one that started it all, is that Nick Fury always said he was not a hero. Like, I want your mind, but you're not, you're not Captain America. You're not one of the, you know, even Captain America said you're not the one to lie down. He, he had a, a, an issue was, I can bring back everyone and tell Ant-Man that he actually has a genius plan, or I can just write it off. So he's like, oh, Ant-Man's dumb. Yeah. It's not, it's not possible. But he, he looked at that photo of him and Peter and was like, I have to, I have to do this. I cannot. I moved on, and I'm happy, but no one else is. That's the truth. No one else was as happy as he was. And I feel that this film proved that he is a hero. That's all he ever wanted to be. I just acknowledge yeah. I'm a hero. And I'm just as worthy as, as Cat Mergo or I guess Fat Thor. Or <laughs> That's another spoiler. Spoiler. It's, we're in the spoiler I section. Sure. We're in the end game now. But, man. And to go off with that, and, and why we, I think we all said... I get said, so serious when I get in these things. Isn't it funny? When we, when we all said it was a roller coaster of emotions, that little three-minute scene, yeah. for me, when I saw that he had this thing up and he's trying to figure it out, I was like, oh, hell yeah, he's, he's going to figure it out. We all know he's going to figure it out. Yeah. And then when he looked at that picture of Peter, it like brought everything back down into like that somber, like, oh, fuck. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that he, you know, that's why he's doing it. And then shit goes crazy and damn this movie. I know. What about you, Shannon? What do you, I mean, Iron Man's death. I mean, what did it do for you? It was pretty devastating. He's <laughs> one of my favorite. Not only Iron Man, but Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, great and actor. He's a great actor. I grew up in the 80s watching him in those 80 movies, you know, Less Than Zero and all that stuff. And he's had a, a, a great <laughs> career. And I just, I think he was a great pick for the Iron Man. He is Iron Man. And I don't know. I mean, it is so devastating to see to see this happen. He's watching. <laughs> and, and, you know, when Pepper tells him. Uh-huh. You can rest. And you can rest. Oh, I'll find damn. Somebody, I'll find somebody else. Looks no. like Rody. Hey. The crying that I was doing, I was holding it back so much that my throat was sore. Yeah. Because I would have been audibly sobbing at that. Not to mention that, that Spider-Man and Peter Parker. That is what started it for me. Yeah. Is they were reunited yes. after a, losing each other. And then... Not even that <laughs> later on, they lose each other again. They didn't and that, get to talk. Oh, it yeah. hurts so they didn't bad. Even, like, get to say sorry or anything, and it's just that. it's just over. Yep, it's, it. it's just over. You can't you can't change that. No. So we're gonna Quentin Tarantino this, right? We're gonna start at the end. <laughs> we're gonna jump the way back up to, yeah, to the beginning of the movie. Well, the we'll man, split, <laughs> yeah, we'll, I'm splitting up in different categories well, because the deaths are okay. a big deal. Yeah. So, yeah, we, so true, we want to talk about the other well, big deal before 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 we oh, okay. before we leave Tony Stark. One thing that I, not that I liked him dying, but one thing, shut up, (laughs) that I really liked is when he got the gauntlet, or his version of a gauntlet in a sense, and he snapped his fingers and he's like, I am Iron Man. That reminds me of the first Iron Man when they do that that press conference and he's like, I am Iron Man. Now Patrick was thinking they're making fun of I am Groot. Yeah, in a way too. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, because like oh, if, no. they I, told him, back, no. I told him no. I told him no. It's full circle. It's full circle. Full circle. Yeah. It's no, full I circle. agree with you, but I still think there's a there's but a little bit of a. But that's what also kind too. of like it was like okay, he's gone. Yeah, it's it. He's done. It's like yeah. that's what started the waterworks. But I think he knew. Yeah. You because know. Doctor Strange, Strange. Yeah. He gave him the signal. But I actually, because he said, if I tell you, it won't, it won't happen. But I don't yeah. think he knew he was going to die. No, he yeah. did because I don't when, think so. when Doctor Strange was holding back the Doctor water. Doctor Strange did this. Yes. He, did, he, was, he, did, he, he was like this. this. But that was a signal him, no, this is no. your moment. It, well, yeah, but yeah, his hands were open. This. And then he this closed it down to one as saying, like, now. But that was his cue to go get the gun because Captain Marvel couldn't. Right. He, was, she got but he never out. knew he was going to die because if he did, he would have never done it. Sure. That's why Doctor Strange was like, "This is this is our this is the one chance to win." That's. But you don't think that that interaction made a game a clue that like he won it because if 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 I told you if you if you were Iron Man and I told you that you're going to die, mm-hmm. Morgan would be in the back of your head and you wouldn't do it. You would hesitate. So when Doctor Strange said, "This is our," when he went like this, that was his cue of this is our only chance to win. 
Because if Doctor Strange was like, okay. you're going to die, he would have not done it. Captain America would have been like, I want to sacrifice myself for the greater good. That's but what that, I thought was going to happen. I thought Captain America would be the one to sacrifice himself. But see, we already but, knew that Cap, what Cap would do that. But, exactly. That's where yeah. it's good storytelling. Because they talked about that before in previous yeah. movies that Tony wouldn't be willing to do that. And I think that's what also kind of hurts the most. And that's where you see that character growth yeah. in Tony. But that's not something he would do. And that's why I think Strange had to remind him. He's like, all right, man, we're going to wrap this up. And then the ancient one's down there like, you can do it! <laughs> <laughs> I need the time stone back! <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, gosh. No. Hurry up! <laughs> Stop the Just a My funny... reality sucks at this <laughs> yeah. Just a funny little ad lib. Like, watching this movie, you realize that during uh, the New York scene, Back in the first Avengers, oh, yeah. Yeah. she was on the rooftops helping them sons of bitches. So and we thought it was all. And we that. thought it was all. That, that was funny. Was, yeah, that was funny. That was hilarious. She's up there. Kicking We're kicking ass. ass. Yeah. But for some reason, that one area yeah. is doing fine. <laughs> but that's. I mean, like at the end of the day, someone else could interpret that one thing. That that's what I thought was that. That Iron Man's just watching because we all think Captain Marvel is going to be the one that put him down. She's the strongest out of all of them. And then when he does that, that's when I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, this is his moment to be the hero in front of the whole world, yeah. which is basically just his friends, right. but his whole world, and it proved. So he, you know, if he started the universe, he's going to end Thanos' universe, you know what I mean? So when he did that, but yes, you guys are most likely right on the, um, definitely on the Iron Man. I just thought of Groot, and I'm just like, I wish Groot would have said it late, low key, when he's like, I am Iron Man. I think the reason why he's saying that too is I remember in um, Infinity War, where Thor's like, this is my friend Tree. He's like, I am Groot. Yeah. And then Cap goes, I'm Steve Rogers. <laughs> like that line gets me every time I, I crack up. Plus, plus, he also says at the end at, in that video eulogy that ah, everything will be fine. So that's why I knew. That's in my mind. I think that he never knew, but he just just in case. Because, mm-hmm. but I also didn't want to tell Tony this either. But he could have easily just I would have just snapped my fingers and went back five years, and his daughter would never exist. Cause I like twenty, I like twenty eighteen better than twenty twenty three. We wouldn't have Fat Thor. We wouldn't have, we wouldn't have <laughs> Professor Hulk. I'm okay. just being honest. Okay, Pat. That's true. So, <laughs> <laughs> am I brutal about this or what? Yes. Oh, you're blunt. It's, it's because it's not Star Wars. You don't care. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm emotional. All right, who's, who's the next uh, death we're going to? <laughs> let's let's talk about the 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 actually the first big death was Black Widow yeah. sacrificing herself. That was a shocker. But but I knew when they split up and they were going to Volmir, Volmir yeah. I'm like, holy fuck, one of these fuckers are dying. I didn't a hit soul me. for a soul. It didn't hit me until they were there. And yeah. then I'm like, but oh my not, God. But not the first time. We were laughing. No. We were like, why did they send those two, remember? But I knew the first oh, time. Oh, you didn't tell me. Well, <laughs> you don't like me talking to you during the movie all the time. You tell me stop. I just kept thinking, how are they going to get the stone? No. How are they going to get the stone? Hawkeye's going to die. Well, I was wondering, why the fuck did they send those two? See, everyone thought Hawkeye was going to die, though. I, I did, yes. I did, too. At that uh, point in the movie, yes, I definitely thought. I and thought then I, I realized too. they're the closest out of all the Avengers. Uh, They've been through so much together. They have this platonic relationship. Ant-Man said not it, too, so we knew he wasn't going to die. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's kind of like, it's kinda like one of those nose goes, like, it's not yeah. me. <laughs> but, you know, so I'm like, okay, I know that random kid. Um, so that hurt, though. Like, that was a... And they both fought to, to try to sacrifice that was hard watching themselves. That. And at the very end, when they both just kind of are hanging there from that wire. Like, you knew she was going to kick off to let go. We're used to her kicking off and, like, kicking ass. We don't expect it, but, yeah, that was... <laughs> wasn't something you expected. I didn't think I would get that emotional. Not that I don't like Black Widow, but that made me really start crying. I was like, it just... It, I think it hurt to see those two characters have to be put... I mean, any of them, but those two, you know, they both have had their problems, and they save one another. And it was sad. Yeah, it was sad. Yeah, of course. Seen you don't sound that sad. Okay. What do you want from me, man? I'm... It, it was it was very sad to me. <laughs> yeah, I, it, no, was, it was unexpected. It was kind of like I a honestly didn't think she like was a like, like a much. Bucky and Cap type of thing. Well, it was funny with Chuck is he was very distraught that actually it was Black Widow and Hawkeye. What? <laughs> you were all upset. He just shoots arrows. <laughs> 
But he had a family. Yeah. But he was on an SNL skit. But yeah. that we watched he had that a last family. night. He didn't. He, didn't, he, didn't, he watched his family disappear. That's that true. At the beginning of the movie. But they, that was hard. But they're trying to get his family he back. He didn't know if they were back or not. True. He said, but he also felt bad because Ronan, he was he was not a good guy as Ronan. No. no. He was basically the Punisher. Yeah. But he was ruthless. But Very the, green arrow is. That death was pretty hard to watch because you're just like, crap, man. Like, you know, I actually was like, why did those two go? Because I'm like, they're just regular heroes. Like, they're yeah. not going to be able to do anything. But now understanding it, but them going back and forth trying to figure out who's going to kill who, I'm just like, that was that was crazy because you know once again Marvel flips the script. It's like oh okay Black Widow does, yeah. which we're all like she's safe, she's getting a movie. Yeah, fuck you, that's she is thought, gonna no, die, yeah, and she's thought, still yeah. getting that movie. I but, thought oh Black Widow, yeah. no, she's good. Well, they'll they'll just put it back in the time. That's what they're doing. They, they are. It's yeah. gonna be. It's gonna be a prequel. So, yeah, she died, so that movie's a prequel. <laughs> now the only thing I told Patrick is how did they not know that going there, one of them had to sacrifice themselves to get. The soul stone, and the and my my argument it was we went back and forth. We did, we did. <laughs> is Nebula knew that Thanos went to that place to get the soul stone, and he went with Gamora. He came back without her. Yeah. What do you think happened to her? And she says it. Yes, and she, so that's why I was telling Patrick. I go so knowing, but none of them knew. No, but you have to remember, though, is they didn't know how she did because when they both saw the Stonekeeper for the first time, he pulls out his sword and she pulls out. They're ready to fight him. They had no idea what it was. So they thought they had to fight that Red Skull and maybe Thanos let her go down. But you're going for a soul stone. And if two people go in and one person comes out, what do you think? They they kept her there. What are you talking about? We go for the mind stone. I don't think I'm going to lose my... You know, I'm not thinking I'm going to lose my mind for the stone. Well, how do you think he got the stone? He had to kill Gamora. No. They did not Nobody, know. Nobody knew that Gamora was killed. No one knew that he threw her off the ledge. Right. That there was, if they would have known, if Nebula would have been like... They... He, Thanos killed her by throwing her off the ledge. You think that Hawkeye and them... They would have been like, not it, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They'd be like, no way. I, I don't yeah. think... After that happened in the movie, I leaned over to Chuck. I said, wouldn't that be fucked up if you didn't get the stone? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah that would be good, right? Okay. Yeah. okay. Because, honestly, nobody, a, nobody knew that, like you said, yeah, the, yeah. You know nobody knew he up. threw her off. For all, for all they know that he's got her trapped on that, that planet or whatever. But Nebula did say that in Infinity War. He left. Yeah. All she said was... he. He, he left with Gamora. He didn't come back. No and he one came back exactly. with the, he came back with the soul stone. stone. Right. Yeah, but no one. None of. Okay, you're expecting too much from these heroes. Okay. <laughs> if Iron Man did not figure it out, if he can figure out time travel, but he can't figure out how they got the mind stone, soul, or soul stone. Excuse me. They feel like they're real. Okay, so they feel like they're real, and I feel like I would figure that out. So real to me, damn it. <laughs> or at least come to an assumption. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That but either way, the bottom gonna line, have to die. somebody was going to have to die going to get that stone. Yeah. That's the bottom line. That was a hard. Their was friendship just was tested. That it was her. I honestly did too. I didn't think she was going to die. No, I didn't think she was. When she died, I thought they're going to bring her back. That I'm like, okay, they're going to try to bring her you back. You can't. We didn't know that at the time. <laughs> we were only an hour in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was that a DC crossover? Just uh, go to Raja. Put her in the Lazarus pit. <laughs> Imagine Shazam would have went down there. But yeah, that was that was a heartbreaking. That was a heartbreaking death right there. I think it was. It was just you were just so caught off guard. You didn't. No, that you didn't think that was going to happen. No, you didn't think. So. I mean, you knew. Well, at least I think most people knew that it was either going to be Tony or Captain America. I leaned towards Captain America versus Tony, but I didn't think that you would kill off another one of the main. They killed like two of them. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping to go for three of them to make an even deal. Dude, I took the whole two. I don't care. And, I, and like I said earlier, like all the rumors, care. all the rumors that you heard, throw them no, out the yeah, window. Right. Oh, because no, honestly, no. the rumors I was hearing long, long ago. Was that this was Captain America's last movie? Yeah. yeah. And my first thought is he's he's gonna die. Yeah. And they completely fucked that fucker up. They on didn't his care end. about us. <laughs> or yeah, they didn't care about us. So the other big death <laughs> is Thanos. Thanos gets snapped away. I didn't care well, for this Thanos. He, sorry. Dies, he dies twice. He dies twice though. Yeah. He just does. Yeah. Okay, we'll that, talk about both deaths. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the first one because yes, I that was, was laughing. So the first time we watched it. <laughs> I was thinking what you said in the second one. I'm like, what the fuck? They just they just killed him. Yeah, but he but Thor killed him at the perfect moment so that 
he could not make up with Nebula. And he's like, oh, it was a little hard. He's like, kill him now. Yeah. If not, they're not going to let him do it. They're so not- when we went into the second oh, showing, Chuck, I was laughing at you because Patrick was sitting, you know, in between us. And you're like, that's it? What's the point of the three-hour movie? Because <laughs> they literally kill him within the first half hour of the movie. Yeah. They cut off his ar- the gauntlet. They cut off his head. And it goes to a black screen. And I was like, well, there's still two hours and 54 minutes left in this movie. Yeah. That was, I was dying like, when he was saying that. I was like, why is it three hours? But we all said that. The first time we see movies, yeah. everyone was like, what the hell? Well, what, what was and the point was of that? the cool thing about Marvel was they're like, once again... You're not gonna figure it out. Yep. They're gonna go to five years later. But talking about, so we'll talk about the headshot. That was that blew my mind. He went to redeem himself, but he aimed for the head finally. Yeah, he just that, he yeah. even said it. Didn't he? Yeah, it was just like what three weeks late. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. You know they could have solved it had they not found. If they would have let Tony die, they just would have went down there two days prior. Would have got the stones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. But we could, if we did that, then that, that would that would destroy everything that Tony Stark would have been like. What what a shitty death! For the number one guy who started it all. But that's what I'm saying, though. Or Ken Marvel could have technically just went by herself, kicked his ass, uh. took the stones, came back. But that's not how storytelling is. True, true, true. So the second death, out. the I second don't... death didn't really didn't really affect me because I didn't really care for the Thanos. Yeah, that Thanos I didn't care for. The one in Infinity War, no. much more interesting. Yeah, right? was, he, was, he, he, he had more depth as a character, yeah. but I think the reason why is because... Five years of growth. <laughs> that that too, but also the, the storyline with Gamora oh, yeah. made more of a human kind of connection with yeah. Thanos. You know, he sacrificed his own daughter yes. to do something that he worked so hard towards that this one... I don't know. I just didn't feel that connection with the second Thanos when he went to du- to like ashes. I'm like, ah, I was whatever. like, fuck him. Mm-hmm. Like, fuck yeah. That's all I said. I was like, fuck him. Fuck him and his wife. <laughs> <laughs> fuck him and his kids too. <laughs> fuck your whole family. Take Thanos. Squidward with you. We don't want to see that guy anymore. <laughs> but um, yeah. The- I actually was happy to see him. That what's what's his name? That his son, the Squidward looking one. Oh, Ebony Ma. I was yeah. happy to see him get a bigger role. Yeah, I, I, thought, I, I think he died too soon in Infinity War. Yeah, his his children were interesting to me. Like outside of Nebula, and Gamora, I wanted to know why this particular rowdy bunch was the one sent down to Earth because they got their ass kicked so easily. By the way, yeah, I'm like these are not his children. Like he's given Nebula a bunch of shit about the sucking. His kids suck too. One yeah, was like the best one in the in the, in the litter. And he killed her. <laughs> killed her. Yeah. So what does that tell you, right? Dick. But um, what, what about you, Shane? What do you think? I mean. Thanos chopped head, and then 2014 Thanos dying. Um, I'm with Carissa. I didn't care. I didn't care when no. he disintegrated because it was like, Meh. You're, <laughs> you're worthless. Yeah. I mean, you know, you already knew that you had done this, and then you're just like, you're gonna do it again. You're gonna do it again, and you already see what happened when when you did it the first time. And he said he was going to wipe out everyone. And it's like, what is the <laughs> yeah. point of that? I mean, I don't understand what his end goal was of wiping everything out, right? I mean, he... For a better world. For a better world, but there would be nothing left. His daughters would be gone. He would be gone. All of... Everything would be gone, right? So you're... Hmm. I don't know. I just... I enjoyed he it. He kind of annoyed <laughs> me in this movie. I yeah. yeah. But I enjoyed... But see, they did a good job with that because we didn't like this Thanos. So I enjoyed it when he disappeared because this one saw everything that happened. Mm-hmm. It was like, you guys are ungrateful? Yeah. I'm going to destroy your whole fucking planet. You guys all yeah. suck. Yeah. I was so happy when he snapped because he was arrogant. See, the other Thanos, smart. Mm-hmm. He was like, I'm not emotional. This is not personal. This yeah. just has to happen. And I'm just like. He's inevitable. Yeah. When he's, he's when, And then when he disappears, <laughs> like that feeling is like. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. You, you took everything away yep. from everybody. You deserve it. So, well, according to our earlier conversation, <laughs> he still gets to go back and be. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. Is that what is that what I said? She wrote it down. She wrote so, it down. I mean, that's what okay. said. So earlier we were talking about, Shannon, you want to tell me your question? We'll, we'll talk about this one. This is pretty good. It's a good um, discussion. So does... Thanos from the past going into the future. So 2014 Thanos is now in 2023, and he gets killed in 2023. How does that change his original timeline? It doesn't, because as long as the stones were put in the right place, he dies twice. So pretty Just like much, Nebula. So, Remember, Nebula died so as well. Pretty yes. much, 
it the stones are the are the key part of changing the timeline. Yeah, if you take if you remove one stone, you don't put it back in the exact moment that it was taken. You open up a parallel universe, which could ruin the current one, but the other one might thrive. That's what so ancient ones. So taking all of the stones out of their current timeline created alternate universes. Yeah, where Thanos died in the future. Yeah. I believe so. Yeah. And then that makes more sense. That makes sense. And that putting them back, sense. that future doesn't really happen because yes. it was an alternate time. Right? Those alternates just kind of fade off into nothing. He basically screwed up by coming into 2023 because he would have thrived if he just waited the next couple years. But because he because he knew what was going to happen, he's like, "I'll just come out." Yeah. And I know it's going to happen. I'll kick their he ass. He showed his hand too yeah. early. Is what he did. So that's why, like, yeah. So we were having about I don't know how long that conversation was, but that was it's a while. Yeah. Thanks, Russo brothers and the <laughs> writers for making for making no, that. It was a good discussion, but, but it was like that's what. But a lot of people. That's what were, makes a good movie, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is when we can have these discussions, we kind of we learn from each other because yeah, that was a good question. She had the best question of all. Of them. What's your next question? Well, because then it just kind of puts them in an infinite loop, right? Then they just keep having the end game over and over. Oh, uh, well. Because he's still going to snap his fingers. They're still going to try and bring. They're still going to snap their fingers to bring him back. They're still, still going to jump to the future, going to kill him. And then. Basically, yes. Unless Dr. I mean, Strange future, decides to take the time stone and goes, let's try this again. Yeah, let's, we can do another let's version. Move this one over here. The mom moves. This this one the I came to. <laughs> always happens. Yes. So it is going to continually be. Him trying to get the stones. Right. Best thing he could. We'll just never see it. Yeah. He all he had to do was just stay in his timeline, uh-huh. accept his fate. Would have been and fine. It, ex- but no, he had to come out. He's yep. like, I'm, I can beat Fat Thor. Yep. I got this. Yep. He's got nothing on me except so Sons of Anarchy beard. <laughs> you've brought up Fat Thor several yes. times. Yeah. Fat so Thor. let's. I, I think we're over the, the, the big deaths, right? You want to talk about characters? Like, should we go? Should we talk about the five year? The five year time jump. Yes, that's where I was going to go okay. to. So right after the the thing that after they behead Thanos, so awesome. the thing that doesn't make any sense to me at <laughs> all, just because we've we've been with these characters for so long, you know, how the fuck are they able to wait five fucking years to get something going? Like that doesn't make any sense to me. Well, the heroes are broken, though. They've never faced this type of thing. They beat Ultron with no problem. They beat Loki and the Chitauri. Sh- Hydra, Shield Hydra. They've never lost like that. I don't know. I mean, let's put ourselves in that shoes. I mean, we're... It they doesn't snap- sound like Captain America. So you're telling me, like, your family members all start disappearing. Yeah. That you're going to be like, let's kick their ass. Like, you're well, going to be broken. Well, I guess it depends on which family yeah. members you're I, I, I was thinking that too in my head. I'm like, well, it depends which ones. But I don't know. See, so it's it's not the yes, you're gonna need time. Five years. True. That's what. Like maybe a year, like maybe two, two. If two of you disappear right lot. now, I'm gonna go grab my gun and I'm gonna be like, <laughs> go. what's going the fuck on around here? I'm, I'm not gonna wait. I'm, I'm up. <laughs> Probably sit after an hour and be like, okay, what the fuck just happened? We'd probably finish the beer in the fridge. Who's yes. ever left? Yeah. <laughs> then I'll grab the gun again and be like, okay, let's get back to this. But you know, like, I don't know, five years is a very five years thing I do. a long time. I run out, go get as many pops as I fucking can. <laughs> All the chases, exclusives, and then I go, oh, well, I should bring my first <laughs> Wow. We actually, I talked about this. If like during the snap, people start disappearing, like as they're grabbing, you're that chase, chuck, and I'm like, you, 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 you hear your story? You're like, uh-huh. I'm gonna get my gun. Yeah, I'm this gonna guy's, shut up. This guy's I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna go buy Funko. I'm, I'm gonna go raid the streets, and then I'll worry about you guys. <laughs> yeah. God, you're so that. selfish. Yeah, <laughs> that was kind of that was kind of rude, bro. I don't have a gun, <laughs> so I got nothing else. Fair well, point. If Chuck disappears. There's a gun in the house. <laughs> A lot of people listen. <laughs> you have a license for it. I do. Yeah. But yeah. well, we haven't recently. <laughs> Thanks for verifying that so nobody yeah. like, takes this podcast, but I think somebody has a gun. Yeah, don't we don't know where my, they're from, but my IP podcast. address. Is, <laughs> now, the bazooka is not licensed, so if you want to come, come. So we'll you that out. you three, in all honesty, people start disappearing that you care about. You're going to keep looking. You're going to keep trying to find. Absolutely. I don't know. So I think I'm grieving, too. I'm like, I'm going to grieve. Well, there's grieving. There's yeah. grieving, and then there's just kicking back and letting life take its right. course. When you lose someone in life, right, you grieve, you carry on, you grieve, you carry on, you grieve, you carry on. It's, it's a roller coaster, just as this movie was. Some days yes. you're good to go, and yeah. some days you're going to figure it out, and some days you can't get out of bed, right? I mean, yep. we know that. No, yeah. 100%. And if I'm a superhero, 
So I have with more powers. reason. Fuck I have fly. more reason because yeah. I know that I'm stronger mm. than the average person. Because I can fly, or I, I have a telepathy. Big green giant monster. Or I can make thunder come out of my whole body. I can body. shoot arrows pretty damn yeah. good. I'm not going to sit back and be like, "Oh, let me think about this." I think it has something to do with when Thanos. They see this broken down Thanos is like that. That destroyed the stones. It almost killed me. And they chop his head off. They're like, "There's no other way." If your strongest Avenger, Captain Marvel. Has no solution for you except I'm gonna get a haircut and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go help other planets. Out. No, but seriously, I'm gonna go help out other planets. Uh-huh. Okay, but there, let's. But, but there is no. But the, what? I'm, honestly, I'm not taking a shot at your hero. I'm being honest. No, if, no if the you, strongest you, hero. You kind of are taking a shot at oh my, my hero. It's. I feel like it's personal. <laughs> it is personal. Uh oh. She has. She, that's not the right betrayal of my hero. Because mm. Carol wouldn't let that just happen. But she did. So did the rest of it. No, because that's not the right Carol. The Carol from the 90s in well, the Captain Marvel man, movie. We put the stones in the right place. You can't alter it. You know. No, but I'm serious. If she had no solution except, I can't believe this happened, like the rest of them, we're going to have to just make do what we have. She's like, there's still other plants that are affected by this. Unlike you guys, there's no Avengers. If she has no solution and she has telepathy, even though she could have technically told She's them when they got telepathy. there. She says it in the movie. I yeah. know, Chuck. Okay. I'm just saying that, <laughs> but the, but if they would have kept searching, would it have been as good though? No, that's what I'm but saying. But I still don't like that it Cap was given up. We'd never think Captain no. would ever give no, up. No, it's not Captain America. Yeah, and if you look look at the, the uh, I didn't like according to the movie that in that five year span they were just having monthly meetings. Yeah, which if, twenty nine other days, it? Yeah. Take which to do something. if if half of your friends just disappear. I don't think we're going to schedule monthly meetings we're gonna and talk about daily, it. Daily, weekly. We're going to. Everybody's going to be in the same room. That's true. There's going to be a game plan on the table. I mean, I get that you know they're off of Wakanda and you know yeah. she's up in whatever planet she's at, but once a month, try to figure out. Hey, have you it heard is, anything? That just doesn't make sense. That part I didn't understand. But see, but Black Widow shocked us all by being the only one that was like, let's keep going. She was playing the Captain yeah. America yes. role. And Captain America was like, I'm yeah. just here for laundry. Even though he was lying to himself the whole time that move on and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. But he, yeah, he, but like I said, all it took the, the funniest of Avenger, Ant-Man, to figure out, like, hey, we got to do this. And that poor guy was trapped in a van that no one even Thank knew. Thank God that a rat saved him, right? A rat saved the planet. I mean, I think that was probably <laughs> the cheesiest thing in the movie. I heard, could have been, I heard, I heard someone so grown when like that's it. I, I think about, it was Chuck. Oh, was it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think it was you. Yeah, I was like, that's it. Because I, like, yeah. I saw the rat. I was like, there you go. Really? Seriously, that's what I was like. Who like, said that? Come on. And he's right next to me. Like, who said that? I mean, I, I, it's, I would have rather have. <laughs> I somebody, I looked. At, didn't I say that? I was like, who said that? I would have rather have the van out on, on those streets ransacked and, and looking like shit, and having somebody trying to like. Steal, how did they get the van off the roof? Well, that's how did the van get in that storage room? Period. With all of the stuff. I don't have all the answers. But that's man. what I'm saying. Like I think. we said, though, we don't know where Ant Man was in their process when Thanos actually snapped. His right. Thanos. No. That that all that is I get. I How did they get the van down? We would have to think that Luis was still out there, right? No. Unless Somebody Luis moved it. pulled it in. Thanos snapped his fingers, and that's the end of it. And but do you think Luis, who was Robin's shit with him all these no, years, he wouldn't know. Would go and put his stuff in, in storage. No, he'd sell that van. <laughs> Am I wrong? That's what I'm saying. He'd he, sell all the electronics and shit inside of it. But they have a plan in Ant Man. This is what we're gonna do, and we because we have to get him out of the quantum realm. Yes. And so uh, they Janet were, says that they yeah. were supposed to do something. So maybe that he was in route to do whatever they were gonna do. Thanos snapped his fingers, and all the people that could get him out were gone. Okay. Ooh. Fair enough. That is true. Fair enough. Still, the rat shouldn't have been the one to press the button. But I just no. want to hit this point again because it pisses me off. <laughs> oh, just because half of the population disappeared doesn't mean the world's going to go to shit. Oh, yeah, because of the trash. <laughs> because there's all the stuff that And the Mets are still going to play baseball. Yeah, and they're still going to suck. And they're still going to suck. <laughs> but there's not going to be trash piled all over the roads because half of our garbage men are still going to be here. <laughs> Yeah, we're a trash company. We work twenty four seven. What's up, waste management? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good. One. <laughs> Everyone's like, "That's what bothered you." <laughs> it really did. I'm oh, shocker. The garbage affected the garbage lady. So next up, we're going to talk about the time heist. 
because we just realized after taking a break that we're an hour in this, we haven't even got to like the the bread and butter, even though we already told you Iron Man dies. So the time heist, Tarantino, they, they have to go back and get the Infinity Stones. So they split up in the teams. We yes. have New York Avengers twenty twelve, okay. Asgard twenty thirteen, Morag twenty fourteen, and then eventually New Jersey nineteen seventy. Yes. So what do you should we just start in order? Why not? Okay, so Krista, why don't you go first and talk to us about re-experiencing Avengers 2012, this time with Ant-Man, present, or 2023 Captain America, 2023 Iron Man. And 2023 Hulk. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot he was there. How do you forget that? Because that was the best part of that. That's the best part. So, So Hulk and Bruce have now become one. Yeah. And like I, I find it actually very interesting. I think there is a comic art, correct, called yes, Professor I think Hulk? So, yes. Okay. Um I find it interesting that those four travel back to twenty twelve and we get to see the first Avengers battle scene in New York again, which is a really cool way and a different point of view of how some of that played out. Yeah. But the one of the funniest part is Hulk is now Mature, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> and educated. <laughs> now, when he sees his former <laughs> self raging and crazy, he's like literally like like a teenager. Where like, oh my god, I'm so embarrassed, I'm so embarrassed, <laughs> kind of thing. And no one can see me doing that, but still. Um, and it's so funny. He takes off his shirt, and he's like, well, "You got to smash up," and he's like, "Ah, nah." <laughs> you know, it's it, it. That's funny. It's funny, and he goes off to um. The ancient one. Yeah, who's low-key saving the Who low-key low is helping the Avengers, they didn't even know it. <laughs> and his goal is to get the time stone. Yes, because he thinks Doctor Strange has it, but he's uh, five years later. Five late. years early. early. But even though I, I did argue that if she could foresee that he's going to become Doctor Strange... For the, well, maybe that's just their prophecy. She can only see the next Sorcerer Supreme. Probably. And that's probably what it is. That's probably what it is. Because then she also would have known Dan and- Yes. Exactly. Then, wouldn't she have known that Mordo was a piece of shit? <laughs> her, her, like number one before Strange. But he didn't become the Sorcerer Supreme. Yeah. But so maybe she can only see the future for the next Sorcerer Supreme. Uh, maybe. All maybe right. I don't know. Okay. So then I don't want to last. So out then of our <laughs> so <I was> nitpicking <laughs> everything. Right. Our next group is Tony Cap and Ant Man, and they are on the hunt for the Tesseract. Yes. And the Mind Stone. Which you and I were like... Which the first time Patrick and I watched it, we're like, when the fuck did they get the Mind Stone? Uh-huh. That was Loki's staff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and we didn't know. We, we didn't that think yet. about that the first time. It's like, well... I thought the- it was powered by the Tesseract, so I didn't think of it. So did I. Yeah, yeah, I thought that's what I thought. The Tesseract, the Tesseract into the staff, yeah. but it's actually the Mind Stone. Okay. His, 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 his staff the whole time was the Mind Stone. Yes. That's why he was... The trickster. Yes, oh, yes okay. it makes sense now. Wow, but I just figured this out. I got confused the first time. I'm like, well, Thanks wait a, a minute. Lot, Russo they brothers. only got two. Where the fuck is the third yeah. one? Um, and so it's kind of cool to see the behind the scenes of the first Avengers. From America's ass. From America. <laughs> that has, that that has America's to be the funniest ass. line. He's like, oh, but can you call him Mr. Rogers? Yeah. That suit does nothing for your ass. And then <laughs> little Ant Man, I think it looks great. Or he's like, I don't think so. That's America's ass. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but like it's 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 really cool to see Ant Man part of that group because Ant Man is one of the original mm-hmm. Avengers. Yes, that was the only gripe I've had that Lost and Ant Man took too long to come out. Yeah, it took way too long. And this is someone who was telling her this. What, what were they telling them? Back in 2012. I was like, this is fucking bullshit, man. Don't get all mad. <laughs> Back in 2012, we're, we're actually watching this movie, and he's fucking pissed off. And I'm like, <laughs> what? Is-? First, he was pissed off by Captain America. Then he came to accept it. <laughs> and then it was this movie, and he's like, it's bullshit. And I'm like, okay, what's bullshit? Now, I wasn't in, into Marvel how I am now. Like, I'm just, I'm barely dipping my toes in. Uh, and he's like, Ant-Man should be there. I'm like, and who? Was. Ant-Man. And the watch. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, Okay. He goes, Krista, it's going to be badass. You just wait. I'm like, okay, whatever. He's just a guy that shrinks. What's the big fucking deal? That's America's ass. He spotted out something that none of us saw. I'm sure some people, yeah. some ladies some saw and some men saw that. Yeah. There's probably, you know, half of the, the America's population. They went, you damn right that is. Was that Chris Evans' real ass, you think? Yeah, why not? I don't think so. I think it was... Do you really stun think ass. they'd do a stun ass for Chris Evans? <laughs> they have done that before. 
When they do a nude Don't scene, remember? maybe. Jo- Joey Tribbiani was going to be the stunning us in Oh, Jesus there. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> See, they watch Friends. I don't watch Friends. <laughs> All right, what about you two on, on New York? Besides America's Ass, what did you think about? That was a cool time I saw it. I thought that was cool that they went back to that oh, yeah. and showed, you know... Like we were there all over, <laughs> kind of watching from like a yeah. different well, like like back the back the When they went to New York and they did that re- revolving camera shot of all the Avengers in that circle, that was dope. It took me back to the first time I saw that, and I'm getting goosebumps Ooh. right now thinking about it. You thought that was the when they thing, showed right? that, and I was like, <laughs> that was fucking awesome. And then when they showed it, and they went back and they showed it again, I was like, damn, that's. I think I also awesome. like that it didn't go according to plan. What? Their their plan yeah, it it did, did. didn't go according oh. to plan. Yeah. Like, and they had to improvise. They had to improvise. Yeah. They had to fuck up, thanks yeah. to making the Hulk take the stairs. That was fun. Hulk that's, don't like stairs. That's me taking the stairs. I hate fucking taking the stairs. He was yeah. fine. That was he could a lot of stairs. Down the whole time. I mean, he could have could jumped. Have, could have climbed up at rampage style too. I mean, it's too many stairs. Too many stairs. But the cool thing is when they when they messed up. They had to improvise, which would be callbacks. Captain America has to go in that elevator, and you're like, oh, this is going to go down. That was right. legit. And then he's like, hell, I tried. That was uh-huh. so good. And it was, and it was that, like, uh, Winter Soldier callback. Cool. Yeah. Don't there worry. are a lot of callbacks. There's a lot of callbacks to Winter Soldier, I noticed. Yes. Because then, yeah. you know, they go downstairs, and they see Alexander Pierce, Robert yeah. Reffer's character, and I'm like, yeah. his hair is even worse than it was in the <laughs> 2014 version. By the way, did anybody else notice that Iron Man's hair is not the same? Yes, Patrick. I hated his hair in 2012. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> well, now, the best part about the New York scene was bringing that Spider Man versus Spider Man meme to life. <laughs> yeah, between Captain America and Captain America. I mean, that, that, that was just every nerd's dream right there is just watching. <laughs> I can do this all day. Yeah, yeah I heard you know. it. <laughs> and he did it so perfectly. He was like, yeah, yeah. we get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's come a long way, Cap. What about you, Shannon? Uh, I like the whole scene. I just think it was fun to go back. It was fun. I mean, that's a movie I haven't watched for quite some time. Oh, wow. So it was fun to go back and relive that. I mean, I, I don't even remember the last time we watched that one. No, it's been a while. It's been a while. I, I like Loki, right? I was glad that I got to see Loki. That was and, cool, yes. You know, and he was still a dick. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I think I think I needed more Loki. I do. Love him. I think yeah. he needed to be in should've, the movie He should have been more. in it. I actually thought we were going to get more Loki. The whole yeah. time I'm thinking he's, he's going to come gonna, back He's going to screw everything up. Yeah, yeah. he's yeah. going to fuck yeah. something definitely, up. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Yes, Chris, you can go anytime. We just don't cut you off. <laughs> so I have a question. Yes. So now that they fixed the snap, is Loki still dead? Yes. Oh. Yeah, because yeah, he killed him before, yeah, he killed before him, the yeah. snap. Yeah. So you saw, yeah. I wish it wasn't true. I love Loki. But when... I don't know how they're going to make it work for this Loki television. It might be a prequel as well, but somebody had a theory that when he disappeared in the, in the, with the Tesseract... It creates an alternate universe. Yes. But, but when Cap America goes back and puts the stones, I don't know it what happens. everything back I don't up. know what happens to Loki. Yeah, I don't know what happens to He gets lost in space. Probably. All right. Well, speaking of Loki, let's go to Asgard 2013, which I'm sure everybody was shocked that it's considered to be one of Marvel's worst films, The Dark World. I heard bad. somebody groan when that they bad. showed it. Like, it's not that bad. It wasn't that, that one wasn't there. <laughs> we, we watched that one last yeah. weekend. It's not their worst it's one. Not, I mean, Iron Man is 3 like, is far oh, worse yeah. than yeah. Yeah, it's funny, I, don't, so, I think Iron Man 2 is the worst film. Iron Man 2? And Dark World, I think. And uh, I hate to say this, Chris, but Incredible Hulk is now in that too. So. Did I just say Captain Marvel is in a throw something at well, him? I, was I like, didn't care for the, the Incredible Hulk ones either. Yeah, so I think Mark Ruffalo needs to make. I thought it was interesting that they picked that one because that's not really a fan favorite event. Because I mean, really. but that's the only time that we would see the reality stuff. Well, somebody yeah. said, "Why don't you just go? Why don't they just fast forward to the collector and just take the stone from there?" It's not the same. Can you imagine explaining that to the collector who likes to own everything? Yeah, We're, but it's not the go- same. And, and also, it was closure for Thor. I was going to say, I think that's what Thor needed Perfect. was to see his mother and to have that conversation and for her to tell him to eat a salad and to get his hammer. Do we get to talk about Fat Thor now? Yes. Yeah, so you got, yeah, we'll talk about this scene. You can also talk about Fat Thor, but I was curious, was Rocket and him going? I'm like, these I two like are that. going, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like a buddy cop thing. Yeah. Yes. Turner and Hooch. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, oh, because Rocket was actually the responsible one. Yes. Which is not Rocket. Perfect, He's right? the yes. one who still stings. Right. <laughs> He's like, I gotta, st- <laughs> I gotta steal this reality show. Yeah. We gotta go. Yes. I think that Rocket losing Groot yeah. and his family, right, yeah. Star-Lord and all them, really changed Rocket's attitude. Yeah. And he knew he had to be the one. Because Thor was just not going to... It was not happening with Thor. And to add to that, at the end of Infinity War, when Groot did vanish, (laughs) he said, I I am Groot. Remember? And people went on Twitter and they were, you know, tweeting out, like, what did did he say at that one? And and the director said, he said, Daddy, before he disappeared. Oh, good lord. Why are you... That's going to make it worse. Every time Groot dies... It's, it's not right. No. It's heartbreaking. Group died three times for this movie. I, only, I know. <laughs> it's really sad, but I only care about 2014 Group. The other one I didn't care for. Well, teenage Group was a dick. Yeah, I didn't like Teenage Group. But anyway. I like I Baby Groot. Groot. So, yeah. Baby Groot when he stands in a row and the Guardians yeah. too. That's so Fat hilarious. Thor. So we didn't really fat talk. Thor. So fat Thor. Thor gained a lot of weight in that five-year time. Jesus he gained like Christ. 100 pounds. Yeah. Yes. You know, Korg and me are hanging titties. out playing Fortnite with him. Whatever. Eating like, pizza. Hilarious. Eating pizza. Hilarious. So, I love that. It's hilarious when the the kid gets on the game and <laughs> and Cor goes, Thor, he's back. And Thor gets on. <laughs> it's funny because that literally happens yeah. every day, I feel like, in someone's household. 100%. <laughs> Give me that thing. And it, but I love that. You just called me a dickhead again. Yeah. But I love how he said butt. Yeah, I did. not even say Ashley. <laughs> I'm going to go there and kick your butt. And he's like, this is Thor again. Like, he's already dealt with this. The kid God of Thunder. Several times. The God of Thunder. He doesn't listen to ass. You better leave this lobby. I'm going to kick your butt. I'm going to have to send America's ass over there. That was the best. But, um, so, yes. yeah, so Fat Thor is not in the best shape. Anymore. No. He's and it, lost it. As Shannon said, it's perfect. Like, when you're watching this, you're like, why did they pick the dark one? Perfect moment. Thor's mom has yes. to be the one to pull him back in yep. and be like, eat a fucking salad for God's sakes. <laughs> and you know, she knows. I know you're from the future. That yes. was crazy, right? You're like, I mom knows. Mom. I loved his mom. I thought yeah. his mom was such a cool character. Can you yeah. imagine Odin giving him advice? No. Boy, no. get your shit together, man. Your no, shit's it, from hell. No. <laughs> such a disappointment. It, it, it had to be his mom. Yeah, his mom kind of helped him figure it out. And and we kind of learned too. We always kind of, I always felt like we always look at his Thor's journey and go, what is his purpose? Because I yeah. knew that the other two, the two of the Trinity, Captain America and Iron Man, their fates would be finished in this film. What is Thor? Since Ragnarok opened up a whole door, we're like, let's get more Thor. Yeah. So I feel like this journey actually helped out because I think in a way they were trying to tell us is he's going to join the Guardians, but we never knew. We never knew. Because he got along with Rocket and Groot so much. Mm-hmm. And then his mom's like, go, go find your place, bitch. And go eat a salad. Know we know you're in charge. Yes, yeah. yes, you're yes. Right. And when he said as guardians of the galaxy, I, I loved it. Oh, it. I loved that. That's like, gonna be so brilliant. exciting, I think. Fucking brilliant. <laughs> but back to Asgard's point, I love that. I love that. Is I found interesting that Natalie Portman came yes, back. When Natalie yes. Portman, with all like, of her controversy with Marvel and they didn't have so, a good Well yeah, they let Patty Jenkins go. Yeah. Biggest mistake that paid off for DC. Yeah. But I actually was hoping we were gonna see a little bit of Rocket extracting reality stone but yeah in the way this was the perfect the probably the most emotional because well maybe not as we get to 70 but is that thor needs help clearly treadmill therapy is needed for this mm. guy a haircut a i don't trim. i don't think so i think the I hair think the hair stays the hair stays oh, i God. honestly didn't notice that he was fat it? until about halfway through that first <laughs> i didn't pay attention to his stomach i'm just like chris he looks the same chris like no the fat, dude. <laughs> no he had titties dude <laughs> <That's what laughs> <I'm saying. laughs> he has men tits <laughs> it's not even tits it's men <laughs> she's so every every woman in that first showing was like distraught, like oh my god, America's uh-huh. ass went all in the Thor's belly. <laughs> <laughs> That's not yeah. how Thor's supposed to look. No. But it's funny. Yeah. It, it is, and it played for the movie. It did play. He looked like the big Lebowski. Yes, yes, because totally it showed you that he got really affected by what happened. Yeah, yes, and that he was... realized he fucked up. He didn't go for the head. Yeah, he, he even though you know, yeah, he cut his arm and his fucking head off. Nothing changed. So, plays Fortnite, gets drunk, and eats pizza. Yeah. I mean, that's He's just every American. Every fucking American. Exactly. That's and it. This one, I think, might be the funniest, was Morag 2014. So, for those who I would be astonished if no one remembers, but Peter Quill dancing when we first see him dancing to go get the 
Power Stone. The funny thing is, Patrick thought that it was old oh, yeah. footage. I thought from it was. the first Guardians. It might have been a mix. At first, I thought it was. No, it, it wasn't. Been a mix. You don't think so? No, because I watched that movie so many he did look fucking a little times. Chunkier. It no, it was actually the dance scene was different. Yeah, oh, it was. Yes, and the, and the choreography was different. Yeah, she mm-hmm. points this out to me. She's like. He's not doing this at this moment. <laughs> yeah. I remember him kicking the puddles, so I was like, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. No, I he remember was that down, like, Is that was, what it was? He was just a little off. And he was a, a little a little chunkier. Was different than he did in yeah. But yeah. we were talking before we did this how I was saying like how stupid it looked from Someone else's perspective. Someone else watching, watching him, him do it. Yeah. Yeah. With, because you don't have the headphones in, so you're just like, yeah. and then like, I <laughs> love <He's> terrible singer. <laughs> it's just so funny because his technically his sister in law, maybe was watching this, doesn't even like him as it is, and then seeing this is like, this guy is fucking stupid. But War Machine, who's never met Peter, really, yep. is like, yeah. This guy's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, that guy gets the power stone? He's like, uh-huh. yeah. So that was fun watching him knock him out. Now, I thought what was interesting in that one was was in the first Guardians they do a uh, Indiana Jones reference how he 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 gets the power stone mm-hmm. of Peter Quill. In this one they have War Machine act freaking out as if it's like Temple of Doom. He's like, "Watch out, man! Yeah. There's all gonna be all <laughs> there's shit spikes in. and there's arrows <laughs> shoot out here." By the way, I don't know about you guys. I feel that that War Machine's humor was very underrated. Like people were not laughing as much. But I yeah, he's hilarious. He's like, hilarious. But what'd you guys think of that when Nebula just sticks her hand in and it's like, it's just burning? Like, I thought T2. Yes. Yes. Came in my mind. Yes. When he just saw the. It doesn't bother, bother her. Metal. Like, I would think that she would feel. It's supposed, metal. She doesn't feel anything? Plus, look it's what metal. she went through, it's not though. Real. Look what she, she went has, through. Does she have a heart? She has a heart, Patrick. <laughs> but remember, it, it got yeah. cut off, so she, she can you, move it, but right. she doesn't feel anything. And you remember what Thor used to do to her? He'd take her apart piece Thor. by piece. Yeah. Not Thor. Yeah, oh, himself. we know what Thor did. I'm still thinking Fat Thor. We know. I'm still thinking Fat Thor. Yeah. He ate all of her chips. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. And that is why she's so angry. Yeah. Okay. We're, we just had pizza and we're drinking beer, so it made me go right back to the Fat <laughs> Thor. It's the beer, man. Yeah. <laughs> this is Thor's leftovers from the movie. <laughs> we're celebrating Thor. I'm going to start playing Fortnite. <laughs> but I thought that was actually my, that was the funniest one. But then that's the interesting part is that Thanos or Nebula has that freak out mm-hmm. with her, her, you know, the inner 20, 20, 23, she busted 20, out her. 14, and then that's when Thanos, we finally see Thanos. I, I have to, I would say when I first saw Thanos, I'm all getting jacked up, but this is not like you guys, it's not the same Thanos. Mm-hmm. So it was more of this guy's a douche. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He has no purpose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But actually, it's kind of cool to see the 2014 Thanos because all we ever saw him do was sit in the chair, mm-hmm. run and go get there. Yes. You know, and then. Yes. 2015 is like, I'll just do it myself. Yeah. And you're kind of going, why did it take you this long to get the fucking stones in Infinity where you did it with such ease? Do you ever notice that? But he sent all those other people to do it. Do you think that Thanos, this Thanos, got his ass kicked and lost and was a douchey guy because it was the much younger version of Thanos coming into the future of... He wasn't as wise. The Avengers. So he had, you know, nine less years of right. knowledge. So you had the Avengers who went from all this shit going on, and then Boom, still growing right. up, and then you got this younger, much younger Thanos. He was being like, like, "Oh, I can handle this," and then jumping in and be like, "Oh, I fucked up." Actually, you know, Swain, now that you bring that up, I think of I always think of that Bruce Banner quote. He's like, "You could if you change if you change the past, it doesn't change the future." Yeah. He sees his future. Things yeah. I can change. It. I'm in the past. Yeah. I'll just go in and fix it. His arrogance actually led to his downfall, mm-hmm. which I feel like was what the Avengers learned in Infinity War was. We can stop him. We've done it before. We got our ass kicked. He's an asshole. So that's all I got to say. This Thanos was the biggest asshole I've ever met. And it was interesting that he just. I'm like, you see how this all plays out, yeah. and you're still gonna do it anyway. exactly. And you're not gonna strategize a little bit better, like right? Because I think that Thanos that they killed in the beginning would have had a different take yeah. on the situation. The one that the one that came back from the past was reminded me like a like a teenage Thanos. Thinking that he was hot shit, you know, mm-hmm. not listening to mom and dad, but not listening to mom everything. and dad, and then seeing like, oh, they kill me, then well, I'll just, I'll, just, I could do, I could fix it now, sure, and gets and gets annihilated, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was good though. And but, finally, the last time heist is Captain America did his part, and man and Iron Man screw up. They have to go to night. Just Iron Man. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, we gotta leave America's favorite man. But it man. really wasn't Hello. a screw up. The Hulk. It just. 2012 Hulk screwed up their plan. You fix time travel? You don't realize that he might come out of the door? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, <laughs> 1970s New York. 
This is probably one. I, I thought that Asgard 2013 earlier was the most emotional. This might have been because this tested our two biggest heroes. Mm-hmm. They got to go back. Wow. Iron Man sees his dad. Mm-hmm. Cat America still waiting for that 1940s booty call. You know, Tyler Chris has to. What? Oh. She doesn't like that. <laughs> Long lost love, man. Okay. <laughs> That's oh. Agent Carter. Agent you. Carter. That's the love of his life. Like that is. That's the date he was waiting for. He's loved her in every movie. Nothing yes. has ever yes. changed for him. How did the she's end? more than a booty call. How did the Patrick? end? What about when I was? It was a playoff. Man, she, it was a playoff of, of Peter Quill saying that the Thanos. I'm a tying, killing booty, uh, long term booty call. Don't compare Peter Ooh. Quill to Captain America. What's wrong with their love? Gamora and, and Peter Quill. That is not Captain America and Peggy Carter. That's no, a different that's kind a of love. That's a different thing. Is, no. Captain America's love. How dare Peggy you? Carter. Take that Captain America hat off. You don't deserve to wear that. He's whoa, whoa, whoa Iron Man. Oh, you tell me to put the shield away. Quiet. You don't, you don't deserve that. <laughs> His love for her has spanned decades. Yes. Yeah. She was there when he took the serum. So yes. She was there when he became yes. Captain America. Yes. She was there when he was scrawny nothing. Yes. So it seemed like it was easy for them to get those two stones. Yeah. Or the yeah, well one stone. Well, one, one stone, stone. and was, some pin particles. And some pin particles, but it seemed like it was the most emotional for them because they had to, you know, face a past thing that has you know to relive of, it. Yeah, like Tony's dad relationship with his dad has been the greatest. Steve Rogers never got to be with the love of his life. I think also seeing her and not being able to con- have contact and being that close. Yeah. is really hard. She could have just looked over and she would have. She just in looked. The middle no, of I don't know. Imagine she would have looked over. She's like, yeah. And you anyway, look at it can from, you imagine? You, oh my you got to look at it from his point. When was the last time he saw her? Yeah. Old and withered and, and yeah, dying. So dying. She had married somebody else. Yeah. yeah. I told you too. That was funny. Is that Peggy quote in that in that like second trailer was like the most powerful quote that the world has changed. Mm. But I, which one did you think was more heartbreaking for them to have Tony get some closure with his dad, who doesn't even know that that's his son, or? Steve looking at Peggy, wishing Steve, that he could just like, Steve looking at, at Peggy because he didn't get contact to where Tony got closure with his dad. He no. finally got to talk to his dad in, in a in a different in a different way. His father to father, a relatable way yeah. because yeah, sure. yeah, Tony yeah. had a had a kid. So know. for me, I think Steve had the more heartbreaking because he didn't get that. And from the hence is why he went the end back. of Captain America when he met Nick Fury. You know, in the middle of New York, after seeing that was what it is, right? and he said, "I'm I'm waiting for a date, or I'm supposed to be on a date." Oh, know? I'm waiting for a dance, right, or something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, that was heartbreaking. That was the first Captain America movie, and all these years later, like all he wanted was, that which dance. is why they show them at the end dancing. Them at the end dancing. Yeah, because remember in Age of Ultron. <laughs> I know. I'm like, did they, in Age of Ultron did Scarlet Witch mess with his mind to make him go to yes. the dance? Yes, place? yes, yes. Yeah, so like, but manipulated him. I, I thought actually I thought it was harder for Tony because really yeah, why because I feel like Tony didn't really have a good relationship with his dad and mm-hmm. he's watching this young dad and he who's going to be a dad soon he has a kid he, but he feels like what can, he wants to tell him I'm your son man yeah. I yeah. turned out okay but he can't mm-hmm. so he tries to coach him mm-hmm. he did the best he could don't worry you're going to be fine well then he probably saw that his dad had a you know a bouquet of roses and a yeah. can of what was it, a can of beans or whatever it was. Sauerkraut. 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 Because he loved his mom. Because he yeah. was going He would eat on a date, dinner yeah. in the pantry because the mom couldn't stand his chewing. Yeah. That is adorable and funny. Yes. I would do that to you. <laughs> oh, I would be looking at the oh. blinds for you but not coming back in time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's such an ass. <laughs> but I, I think I think the, the Steve Rogers would, was the more heartbreaking one. Heartbreaking. Because Tony, you know, had a I'm just trying to balance kind of, things here. Like, mm-hmm. you know, Tony I, had, I, I was more in the Steve. Tony had closure. Yeah. Steven didn't. Steven. Oh, wow. Chuck's even getting over here. Hey, Steven. We're on a first name, first name basis. <laughs> America's ass and Chuck are on a first name basis. Steven. 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 Don't be Steven. calling me that. Not even Peggy. It's actually, it's actually pronounced Stefan, but we don't like to make that public, so it's cool. Oh, what about you, Shan? What was I, more? I do, I do think Captain America was more heartbreaking. I tried to make Iron Man's case. It, it, I, it was no, hard. I, I get your yeah. point, but it's he a good, it's a good got scene. To talk yeah. to him and say, yeah. "Hey, everything's gonna be okay." Yeah. Look, like he was trying to tell him. I he was trying to tell him. I am your yeah. son. Yeah. I'm okay. Did Everything good, yeah. is okay. Yeah, that gave me a good and then they hugged at the end, or kind of hugged at the end. 
Tony, like, awkward hugged him. Back. Yeah. yeah. I think that was, like, you know, him being okay with everything his father had yeah. done. And then, as Captain America, couldn't see the love of his life. He couldn't mm-hmm. talk to her, but he could... That she was right there, just pain. out of reach. A window pane. Which motivated him, I think, to get more Pym particles. He's like, uh-huh. fuck these guys. I've I'm done getting enough extra for my country. Yeah. because yeah. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go back to her. That's yeah. something I told Patrick. He grabbed, yeah, she, she he grabbed more than he was supposed to. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so three. I'm like, I wonder if he was thinking of making that extra trip. Yeah. yeah. Oh, because that was right after he saw her. Through yeah. The so he was probably like, you know what? I'll be back. I'll be back. What's next on the agenda, What's Patrick? What's next? So let's get to the big battle. So Thanos. Okay. Nebula basically, Bitch. 2014 ends up in the tour. She didn't mean to. It was her old house. Old, yeah, old well, stuff. She went straight R2-D2 yeah, so. and, showed, <laughs> and showed Daddy Thanos everything that was going she on. She didn't mean to. Mm. But that was interesting. Was What did you guys think of seeing Gamora? Like, the first time we get to see her again, we're like, oh. She's back, but she's not the. It's not the same. Before. It's not the same. It was good to see, like, where she came from. There was conflict, in my opinion, already with her. She was not yes, so yes, nice. yeah. yes. You know, she's and like, it was good to see, like, her and Nebula were kind of. Yeah, Nebula's like the like the same one now. She's like, we're gonna be friends. Yeah, I try to kill you several times. Yes. Yeah. So like nonchalantly, I try to kill you a couple mm-hmm. times. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. She's like, I didn't succeed, and yeah. then we became friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I would have succeeded, we would definitely not be friends. But she also did say we became sisters. Yeah. And that was yeah, and that's what when that threw her off. Yeah. Actually, you know what's really sad is when Quill and her they see each other again, mm-hmm. yeah. and he's like in like Gamora. Yeah. Oh my goodness! And she's like, "Who the like, fuck are you?" She's like, this is the guy. It's between yeah. this and a tree. <laughs> <laughs> it, I, was, I take the tree. <laughs> I was excited to see Gamora, but I was like, "How long is she gonna be in this?" Cause right. Because you're, yeah. yeah, you're like, so that was one of the things we talked about last night. Yeah. Is yeah. now where is she in the timeline? Yes. Right. Does she disappear when Tony snaps his finger? I don't think she does. Um, she, she doesn't does. because she she became good, so she gets escaped. Anybody? She else? was always. Mm-hmm. Good, good, right? For lack of a better, she yeah. never really went along with Thanos. I don't think she just did because he killed her family. Survival. She was always tor- always torn. Like right, with- yeah. She so- loved him, but didn't love that he wanted the wife half the world. Yeah, you know that was it. It's like right. that you can't be dead of the year, yeah. <laughs> right? But Patrick is saying maybe that's what Guardians Three is going to be all about. Is, is them searching for her and that? I, I think we talked about this with them, right? Did we? Yeah, yeah. That I think she's going to fall in love with <laughs> with. With skinny Thor now. Mm-hmm. And Hopefully then, fades out. You know, Star-Lord and him are going to have this which funny is, banter trying to impress her. Which is a great story. Yeah. They already were in Guardians 2, yeah. uh-huh. where Quill was like, uh-oh. uh-oh. So he kept trying to hulk up in front of her, right? Yeah. So, not today. You not will not today. take this <laughs> <laughs> Are you mocking me? <laughs> He's all like, but, um, so we'll go over to the big battle. Because I think this one we can talk about for a while. I mean, this is a huge battle. Was just so like, Nebula opens like, the it, portal. It's like Ready Player One fucking yeah. style. So yeah. Nebula opens the portal. Thanos shows up. But nobody from the Avengers died, by the way, when he, when they shot all those things. That someone, no. wrote, that, someone wrote that. Nobody died. But, it, but even, how did she know how to open the portal? That was one of the things. She just flipped all the switches. So was she just like, I'm going to flip them all and see what happens? Her, so, oh, so she this, was able to watch. This is before, yeah. though. This is before she lost her hand. So her hands in the first Guardian, she can un like uncrack like un- yeah. What's the one I'm trying to say? She can hack into things. Yes, yeah. by just sticking her hand in there because she's, she's part not, computer. Yeah. Actually, good her question, question once work. again, Shannon, because I did not have the answer for that one. You did. That was good. That was like, so her original hand was yes. part computer. Yes, you remember or part like she, cyborg in a sense. So they kind of extend. I don't. I don't. I actually we're going to watch it again, and we're going to pay attention. I thought she just watched them when, 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 when in the memory. Yeah, in the memory. Oh, I thought that too. Fan is over here, like move over. Like he's yeah. over here, like. But no, that's actually a good one too because I bet you that is an Easter egg, and, and I didn't catch we it. Just, so. We just discovered it. Yeah, they're like someone's like we figured it out, yeah. dipshits. <laughs> Take that, Russo brother. <laughs> yeah. So the big battle. I mean, so I mean, wow. the heroes. We see the original trilogy oh. or trilogy. Excuse me, Trinity. I'm thinking Star Wars. Trinity, we got Fat Thor, which is technically he's a loose point. With point. both but, hammers. But both he's, hammers. He's powered up now. Yeah. yeah. And he's got a little he, beard twist. He got, he got, like he got a, a little, yeah. Like a I, half I, man bun. I think we missed talking about a big thing. Oh, here we go. How to get his hammer? That Captain America can hold his hammer. Oh, we're getting oh. there. We're getting there. We're getting there. This is the big... Spoiler alert. So, <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Thor... In the spoilers. Captain spoiler. America and Iron, Iron Man, Man are going to hold off 
Thanos, who's waiting as Nebula gets the uh, Infinity Stones, and they're going to battle. So, Shannon, you'll go first, because we want to talk about that 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 crazy moment of Cat America is worth I mean, can I Can I say something before you start? Of course. The way they shot that scene where Thor just kind of sits down, and he's sitting there, and he's kind of just playing with the dirt, just yeah. waiting. Like, that shot my fucking anxiety and stress through the roof, because I'm thinking, like... You guys know he's talking about? No. Remember that part? It's when Iron Man and Cat walk up. He's like, what is he doing? He's like, it's just... They're all right. they're yeah, up high looking at him. Yeah, he's like, he's just, just sitting there, there and yeah. he's just waiting. Which <laughs> may have been a callback to maybe Thanos sitting there at the end of Infinity War. You Wars. said Thor was playing with the dirt. Thanos. Damn it! No, oh, Thanos. Okay. Thanos. Okay. Thanos. Sorry. What the okay. fuck are you I'm, talking about? I'm trying to picture Chuck, I don't know the mind. fuck I'm talking about. He agreed with me. Damn it, Patrick. I don't Thanos. Know. I just, but there we was a part where Thor was sitting there watching him. That's what I thought. Okay, okay, okay. Let me start over. Cut, cut. So, the best part about that, but no, Thanos kind of just takes a knee and he's like playing with the dirt and, and you know, they're all up there looking at him like, what the fuck's this guy doing? It really like shot everything up through the roof because I'm like, Someone's like, dying. Right? What is yeah. he doing? I thought someone's gonna die. Like he just stops in the middle of this like battlefield and and he's just like, well, oh, I'm just gonna wait and see what happens. Okay, sorry. All right, Shane, so just the way they shot it, it was awesome. Whole, the- so Thor and Thanos are fighting. So cool. <laughs> and it's it's so cool. And Thor's winning. Then Thanos is winning. And then all of a sudden Thanos has the Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker, and he's pushing it onto Thor's chest. And you're like, what the fuck? And they pan over. And the hammer's rattling, and you're thinking it's going to go to Thor, and it goes to Cap. I thought it was going to go to Ray. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Can you enough talk about Marvel? Not well, freaking Star Wars. It goes into Ray, Ray does the backflip. <laughs> <over there. laughs> This is not my Star Wars. <laughs> I can't wait to do. I can't wait to do the Star Wars. Yeah. One I know, you. right? So we're gonna talk about all Marvel. Yeah, yeah. We'll, yeah. We'll, bring, we'll bring a fucking Endgame in there, dude. But yes, Shannon, back to what you're saying. That is exciting, and it's a call back to Avengers. Um, Age, Age of Ultron. Ultron. Where they're all trying to pick it up. And then and Cap is the only one that can move it and just a little bit. Out. He's like, oh. Wait, he's like, I knew you were worthy. <laughs> I actually told her the first showing. I don't know if you remember this. Okay. I had thought it was Vision and we're going to see them all show up. But oh. see, I was wrong. And then when I saw it, I'm like, whoo! Yes. Like, I leaned back in my seat. I'm like, whoa, he's worthy. Yes. And it was kind of cool. And it reminded it me was of, badass because he can also like get thunder and wheeling and it. Wheeling yes. it. And I'm like, holy yes. shit. But also that battle reminded me of Civil War Excuse of, me, of like, like when Bucky and Cap were fighting. Yes. This time it yes. was Thor, yes. Cap, and then yes. Iron Man shows up. And it was kind of interesting. A lot of callbacks in this movie. That's what, you know, they did a good job with callbacks. Yeah. You didn't feel like, oh my god, another It, it callback. wasn't like a, uh, yeah, exactly, uh, another call. No, it was like, a, like exciting. It like was, everything yes. came full circle. Yeah. To be honest, I felt, I don't know, I was a little angry yeah. that someone else could pick up Thor's hammer. Oh, really? Do you know, uh, I don't know if you know, but there is another word. Yeah, there is. Beta Ray not, Bill. He's not in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He's a universe. bird kind of thing, but yeah, he actually, uh, it's just a fun fact. They might make him in the movie. They actually teased him in Ragnarok. There's actually, a, I think there might. I there is. There yes, is. Yes. Is that he might have been a champion in the Ragnarok, or if not in in Guardians of the Galaxy, the, that that skull that Peter Quill kicked while he's dancing yeah. is so Beta Ray Bill is this other one who apparently is worthy, and then and that, Odin, can, and that can wield. Yeah, he can the wield it too, and then Odin ends up giving him one, and then they all start like. Like hammering it out, basically. When you brought it up last night, you're like, I just don't know why he was able to, to pick up his hammer. I mean, I get that. What did I say? He's worthy. He was worthy. Of but it. I love And him. especially in that like time of need, in, in a sense, like yes. Thor needed saving and because he, he couldn't save himself. Right. So I said, Asgard but decides who can control that. I think, that I, but you you liked it anyway because you're like, holy shit, this is bad. I'm like, holy fuck. He's not worthy, but he's badass. But that's Thor's fucking hammer. But so then it he, goes then, back to me growing up in. The 80s, right? Yeah. So I'm a bit older. Um, there was a movie called Adventures in Babysitting. And oh, yeah. And the girl in there loves Thor, and it's this whole thing, right? Because that's like one of my all time favorite movies. So it was disappointing to me that someone else could pick up the yeah. hammer, but also good because, you know, we needed it at that time. Mm-hmm. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. You're passionate. And then you right? asked about, well, how come he was able to grab the. How could Thanos yes. could grab Stormbreaker? I said, Stormbreaker, you don't have to be worthy on that. Right, right. right. so uh, again, I'm not like huge, That's just stuff we were huge, talking about. huge into the comics, so these yeah. are all the things that I don't no, know. They're, so and they're, they're, they're good questions. I talked about it yeah. last night because no, they Thanos are. picked up. You ask, you ask the best questions. Yeah. So someone else out there is like, oh, yay. no more Force Awakens, please. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk to the troll lady. Die. Again. <laughs> Which was heartbreaking. Yeah, I know. I will, I will, I will cry about that every time I see that movie. Yeah. But 
this this was heartbreaking yes. just as much. Some of the things. Yeah. I actually thought Captain Man died when we saw Iron Man get thrown around. Thor, I was like, he's we're gonna play it safe, but then Captain America's shields breaking, break yeah. and yeah. then. I thought it was the end. I'm like, no. Yeah. You know, he's he's like this. I'm I'm the last one standing. He yes. gets up. The Thanos he army come in. Yes. That, his shield. He's ready he to up, go. And then we hear that. And then what happens? You hear that Cap. static. Oh, on your left. oh my god! And now he's got the children. Yeah. yeah. And then like we see the portals, portals okay. open, up, open up. So this is my this is my big gripe. Hit it. No Howard the Duck. <laughs> no one has that gripe. But you. Yeah. I'm the yes. only one. Is we hear Sam say, "On your left." Yes. And your picture of That's around. who I wanted to see. I wanted yeah, I to see, see Bucky. I wanted to see yes. Sam, I mean, Falcon. I wanted to see Wanda. Mm-hmm. I like Black you're Panther. You're Carter White. You're in the car. Carter You're over here complaining. Because they call it Carter White. Wanda. Wanda. You're on the first um, name basis with Wanda, too. I wish. I love Elizabeth Olsen. <laughs> Wanda <But>. Steven. <laughs> Chad, I don't have any friends. Hey, I'll, I'll have, I'll have you got America's ass. I'll be here. I'll be here. Yeah. We'll swap but numbers. But that's who I wanted to see first. Yes, so did I. Yeah. I didn't want to see Black Panther. I didn't want to see the rest of the armies. I wanted to see all of them come together. Yes. And I want Thanos to be like, that's it? Yeah. And then they're like, no, we got more. But yeah. there's so Hold much. On. You literally have to watch this more than, especially for that scene. There's so much that I didn't see the first time and Patrick didn't see the first time. He's like, I never saw Scar the Witch. Yeah, I know. like, I well, I did. He's like, and he was like, did you see Mbaku? And I'm like, I didn't <laughs> yeah. see Mbaku. Why was Mbaku there? You know? And so it, it was really he was exciting. He was. He, he was, actually, yeah, he was, at he was point. the one that wasn't on their side at first, right? He yeah. was the opponent. Yeah. 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 So it was exciting to see them all come together. Yeah. And it was finally exciting, even though it was really low, for Cap to finally say, Avengers Ass- assemble. But yeah. assemble was so faint. Yeah. yeah, see, that's what I thought was strange too. Is I didn't hear him say. A, but at the same time, well. I'm thinking, okay, maybe he's saying it like in like a like a grunting kind of way because you know he's also probably exhausted. Or he could have been got his ass handed. Yeah, him. could have been saying it to himself as like a. But that was right. exciting to finally, after all of these movies, this is technically the this is the fourth Avengers movie. We're finally getting that to come out. Avengers yeah. assemble. Yeah. And finally, they... It's just in America's ass. That would have been funny. That would have been funny. <laughs> finally, we get, we get to see Scarlet Witch kick fucking ass. Yeah, I thought that was really... Because she is so powerful. Her, power, her powers... I don't itself. think they know how to handle no, they Captain don't know how to, Marvel. We, uh, no. Not or Scarlet film. Witch. No. I don't think a lot of people actually are no? invested in, in Scarlet Witch as much as They're I think fools. the four of us. I because really when, we, when, we, I love when she her. came down... I don't know why people. To me, it, I'm my, excited for their TV show. Yeah, but the the audience, in my opinion, and the two shows, I don't think it resonated as well. Because like when we saw Wasp, I saw all four of us get jacked up. Oh, I it wasn't so like that. No, it was like when the Guardians showed up, or Spider Man, or Doctor Strange. But when when she shows up and Thanos is and she, Thanos looking at her, she's like, "You took everything from me." I'm like, I feel that shit. Like, yeah. like oh, I don't even know. Because at, you at are. first, she's like, oh yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. Yeah. What, yeah. Take strike me. Because that's your father's blood. Fuck me, Randy! I hate you! Because <laughs> honestly, at first, I forgot about her. Dude, I'm telling you, you can bring Star Wars in any conversation. No, you can't. You, you can. Son of a bitch, Patrick! <laughs> that might be the intro. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but honestly, I forgot about her until she came down yeah. and she, th- that interaction happened. And I, I did. Just like you forgot I... about Captain Marvel? I heard you. <laughs> I did. We're, getting, we're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, no, I no, I did too. Second, third time the she first showing, I was like, movie? where's she at? And then I forgot. I yeah. get wrapped up. Like, where's she at? I think, though, in Infinity War, um, when he snapped his fingers in Scarlet Witch, I think hers was the most powerful Heart loss. Heart breaking. Oh, my. And it the was, acting was amazing. Yeah. Her lip was quivering. It was like, you he felt it for oh, her. Oh, yeah. Just because she just saw Vision die. Get Which is long for her life. And then basically Watch die it. Again. again. And then the snap. I mean, that. That's, I mean, I think that talk about was heart wrenching. So <laughs> powerful yeah. that, like, seeing her come back and her just almost take him you, down yes. was a really good. She probably could take him down too. Yeah, I think she could have. I think if her and Captain Marvel teamed up, they would have been able to do it. So we talked about how the yeah. portal started yeah. to open up and everybody started coming through. Thank you, Chuck. This is in my head, this and and having a day to think about it. I think this is how it should have been done. I'm not a writer, I'm not a director. No. Yeah, anyway. I'm just a fan and having a different vision in my head. I like how you said just the Avengers come out, the original crew, right? Yeah. Scarlet, you know, even Black Panther. Even Howard the Duck. I just didn't want to see him first. Not first. 
But we have all them yes. up there. Thanos is like, that's all you got? And yeah. then and here come then, more. Yes. And then that's Ooh, when... And the other ones open up and all the And that's when Steven out. Rogers says, assemble. But what what can I say? At the end of the day, it was still pretty cool. It was, it was, it was still epic ass. in the end. Yeah, yeah. We just didn't care about all those Sorcerer yes. Supremes with Wong. Fuck them. Like, yeah, yeah. Screw it. I think the only thing I didn't like is they didn't utilize Captain Marvel correctly. Oh, yeah, so let's talk about Captain... So they're, they're, they're almost done. So they're almost done. You she know, shows up. the fight's still going. You know, there's explosions. All of a sudden, they stop shooting at the Avengers. Yeah. And all their cannons go up to the sky. I thought Ronan was for sure going to show up. And they're before. like... What are they shooting at? And it's, it's the like Rocketeer. it's like something has entered the atmosphere. <laughs> Superman. And then here and then here she comes. The only thing that that suffered is they shot this before her movie. Yes. So they still weren't sure of her powers. She wasn't sure of it or either. her humor. Yeah. Because we didn't they, get her witty humor like well, we did. Even like, yeah, even Brie Larson didn't know what you know what what how do I develop this character? Yeah. Because there wasn't really a, a clear voice of how Captain Marvel was going to be. Yeah, I got to have a cooler haircut than Hawkeye. Because honestly, yeah, I mean, her haircut with really that haircut awful. and that stern demeanor, she's not. Captain I was Marvel. that was like not appealing. No. As, as the Captain Marvel, you know. But, but I was, was excited cool to in. finally see her come in. That was cool when she came down. Like it's over. Like it's done. It's done. done. And the only way Thanos could stop her is to take the power, power stone, stone and in. fucking soccer punch her. Like. Yeah. Boom! That's the only way to knock her down. A bitch. <laughs> <laughs> actually, that is true. That is true. That's the only time Thanos like actually she used did. his wisdom. He's yeah. like, I better take this stone out. She's gonna know. kick my ass. Yeah. He's like that, that girl with the red <laughs> shit almost kicked me. Anybody with colors is kicking my ass. <laughs> and it goes back to Infinity Wars. Like, yeah. Much wiser Thanos took that you know the time stone. Yeah. And rewound it and then took the fuck stone off Vision. I mean, but it was really cool. Is uh, what you guys think about the. The real cool callback of, of when in Civil War, Hawkeye tries to introduce himself to Black Panther. He's like, I don't care. Mm. And he's trying to run with that. He's like, Clint, give it to me. So they're passing it around. We get Spider-Man gets it. But when Captain Marvel got it, and then they're like, who's going to who's gonna keep it, who's going to help her keep it away from it? And all those women rose up. That was pretty badass. That was pretty badass. Except sick. Chrissy kept killing the butt. What's Mantis going to do? I said the same thing. I'm like, what's she gonna do? She has power. Let me make you feel bad. <laughs> yeah, so you can think about all the bad things you've done. Well, it's funny she's because she's also just standing everybody. there, kind of like. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like her. I, I like love her matches. Girl, I love matches. Definitely, definitely underqualified. I just, I just I think, know what I just she think would do. In, but even myself, like, I, I'm like, what is she gonna do in a battle? Yeah. My most jacked up was Wasp. Was like, yeah, I'm like, yeah. And then hearing, like, noticing that the crowd never cared about. Wasp. No, oh my God. I think I that's so excited. I think yeah. the, that's what made, I, I made me up. sad. It made me sad. But I also love the callback yes. to oh, when way. when they're together and they have to go uh, start up the uh, the van and start up the uh, quantum mm. machine thing. I can't think of the word. What's quantum realm. There you go. Thank quantum you. Quantum realm, man. Thank you. And, um, we only do this in conversation. We don't know anything about quantum physics. <laughs> yeah, we're I doing don't. callbacks here, too. I don't. Yeah. Hold I don't. on solo. Oh, <laughs> Shut up, Patrick. God. But, you know, Captain's like, you got this. And she's like, we got it, Cap. It's a callback yeah. to Evan and the Wild. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. So I mean, a lot that of callbacks. Awesome. Definitely, I love this. There's movie. one that you forgot. What I forget? When the original Captain America, we talked about it this morning because we were watching it. And they wrote it down. Uh, Bucky was getting shipped off. You know, this is still Skinny Steven. And he, you know, Bucky told him, "Was like, don't do anything stupid while I'm gone." Yeah. And he says, "Well." How am I when you're going to take all the stupid with you? Yes. They brought that back full circle. They did that one too. And they, they We're getting there, Chris. I know you oh, want to talk about that one too. said it in, in Endgame. So we'll, let's move over to... All right, let's talk... One of the last segments is Thanos versus Iron Man. Because we already talked about the deaths. Yes. We're going to talk about Thanos versus Iron Man, the final thing for the Infinity Gauntlet. Or so, Iron Man's Gauntlet. We'll so I that. have a question. We have an answer. Okay. <laughs> so... Iron Man goes and he's able to get the stones. How does he? How's he able to move all of them onto his uh, his version of a? Gauntlet? I thought that that his thing that he made could ma- magnetically grab them. That's what I thought. Oh, I mean, okay. he's pretty smart. He figured out time travel. So I assume. I'm not he, saying he's not smart, but that's just one question I had. I'm like, how could he do it so fast? Yeah. Because it was like a. Yeah, yeah, it was literally like a, no, no snap, pun intended, but true. Well, I guess I don't know. I mean. We, we really need the screenwriters to sit down with us and get this. We, we have questions for you. Yeah. But that's a good question. But it was I, cool. I would assume that it, he magnetically... But, it, I mean, that satisfaction of him doing that, and then he's like, oh, we're, 
the hell? The guy's like, shit. And then, like, Iron Man's like, oh, okay, I can do this. You know, I don't know what to do with this. You know, I just love that. And then I know you guys have said it when he's like, I am, I am inevitable. And then he's like, I am Iron Man. Yeah. And while everyone's thinking the correct thing, it's a callback to the first Iron Man movie. You're like, Groot, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so not Groot related. No, <laughs> but after not. It, I'm like, is there like a 1% chance that Groot was no. in there? So when he snapped and you start seeing like the effects of Thanos' children and the army disappearing, what was that feeling for you guys? Satisfied. Redem- Redemption. Yeah. Payback. As a you get, the other fucker. Fucker. bitch. Yep. Eat, How do you like eat it? Eat that ash. Watch all of your family, your children, whatever. I don't die. think he even cared. Like, <laughs> Probably this Thanos didn't. Yeah. He's just like, where's Gamora? I'm going to kill her later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it was interesting seeing Thanos have a, a bewildered look as the heroes had did when he had snapped. Yeah. Like, what did you do? He's like, and he just, it wasn't even like a, they didn't even like let us process it. He just slowly just. He yeah. sat, he sat down. He sat down. Yeah. And he's just like, I just wish he did that callback of when Nick Fury disappears. Like, mother. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> but then, cool. I mean, Iron Man, unfortunately, is, is not looking good. He got a, he got a Did you know he was going to die right then and there? No. no. No, it it wasn't until Peter ran up to him and was like, you know, checking on him and he wasn't responding to I'm Peter. I'm an Avenger, man. Yeah. And that <laughs> like broke my heart. I'm like, oh no, he's oh, done. Peter you know, cool and callback then, though. It was a cool callback and then Pepper kind of like moved to the side now. Uh-huh. You know, then when she told me, no, it's okay, you can rest. I'm like, that was it. that's it. That Ugly was crying, snot coming down, here it comes. Like there's, And it's funny thing, it's the first time, not funny, but the first time we watched the movie. I thought of Han Solo. You could hear like people this. in the theater because it's quiet, kind of <laughs> like you know Infinity War, and you hear I'm people going. <laughs> you hear, you literally hear that throughout yeah. the theater, and, and it's it's so sad. You hear one guy in the first. No, <laughs> he said no. It's sad. It, it, it was sad, nobody. But nobody expected. No, Iron I did not. I didn't expect to, him to, to die. die. Except I, for you, apparently, I, Patrick. I thought he would die just be, because I thought that if. We all think Captain America would sacrifice himself. Yeah, for sure. We know he Never would. Never Iron Man. Never. I didn't know how he was going to die, but I thought that that because Chris was like he'll just quit, he'll retire. But I'm like, he can't retire. He's so smart that he would never let it happen. Like Cap could retire. Well, not retire, retire. Yeah. He'd probably continue building weapons and stuff. You know. Yeah. But I thought in my mind, I thought Marvel would flip it on us. But then again, I'm like, we could all be wrong. Fucking board by the board. You know what I mean? Yeah. But instead, he gave a bunch of weight, so I guess that was payback. <laughs> But no, but I th- I thought it was cool how they played it off. Like I said, I, I actually started getting tired of him like, man, he's finally the hero that he always thought he yeah. was. And he's not the guy just eating cheeseburgers, which was a cool callback as well. Yes. One. So then we get, you know. To the funeral. Yeah, then we get to oh. the funeral. And then it's oh funny is how many how many of us were laughing? Is it, I don't know if you were like, but I started laughing inside is when, when Falcon put his hand on Bucky. And I'm all, he's all like counseling him like, that guy killed his mom and dad, bro. I <laughs> don't <laughs> care about nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I know but, he did. But it was remorse. Bucky was messed up about yes, that. Yeah, yes. Bucky was like, "Oh my god, I killed everyone." <laughs> Just kidding. That, but, uh, and then that's funny is that kid at the back is I first time I saw it, I go, "Who the fuck is that kid yeah. back there?" Yes. And then at, first like, thing we said, finally I start yelling. I'm like, I, 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 I don't know why I yelled it to you. What's going on? Like, that's a kid from Iron Man three, and I'm like, "That's a kid from Iron Man three. And she's like, yeah. "The kid from Jurassic World." That blew your mind too. I was a kid from Jurassic yes, World. Yes, I keep telling you this, yeah. and you don't believe me. So we were driving home last night, and we were replaying that that funeral pan in our minds. And I'm like, you know, they pan over this. And I said, I don't remember. It was a woman and a guy standing there. I said, and then there was just this solo kid, yes. like teenager. I said, first I thought it was Peter Parker, right? But yeah. then I realized, no, we already saw Peter Parker mm-hmm. and Aunt May. So who the fuck is this kid? <laughs> and Chuck's like, I'm trying to picture it in my mind. So when we got home, I'm like, I'm fucking Googling this. So I Googled kid at Tony Stark's funeral. <laughs> and, it popped up. and it said it was the kid from Iron Man 3. And I'm like, what a cool callback, right? What a cool callback. But my question is, what is the purpose? To show that, that outside of his heroes and friends. That he touched somebody else's yes, life. Because yeah. that kid helped him out when he was having PTSD with. Yeah. Because we watched it yeah. earlier watched today. It today. So, what, you guys have better knowledge, but yeah. yeah. I guess from what he, I, he helped him create the suit there or, was a, or fix the suit, yeah, too. Yeah, it gave you the human touch that yeah. not only did he affect us for 11 years, yeah. this kid who 
had a shitty dad who left him. Mm-hmm. He, he still because how many he gave other, him a laugh. Remember, he gave him all kinds of yeah, shit. How yeah. many other interactions did Tony have with yeah. anybody? So the thing know? that I read online last night said, "Don't expect to see this kid anywhere else." It was yeah. just yeah, for it was this a, a I, That's yeah. what I think too. And also, by the way, is the real question is, my who's, God, that is that kid. Who is the who is the guy next to, to Agent Maria Hill? That's who I want. It looked like Howard Stark. <laughs> no, it's um um. Tell us, Chris. We need to know. Oh, I don't know who it is. I was like, who the fuck's that guy? <laughs> What's his name? That guy I didn't know. From either. from Thor, not from Thor, from the Hulk. Hulk. Oh, that was General Ross. Yes. Are that was General Ross. Yes. A uh, Ross. Ross. I'm getting. I can't do this anymore. Are you telling me <laughs> that guy's an asshole too? He should have been snapped. But he was him. there. That was him. That was him. Oh man! And then I, I, I guess I wanted to question why was Captain Marvel just not with, all by herself and not with Nick Fury, who she got all teary eyed in the beginning, right? She's like, "Let's go." Yeah, where's she my was just fucking cat? On the stairs by herself. So what happened to what Goose? Are they telling us there? <laughs> yeah, that was really strange. I, I, and I think they only did that because they wanted to show Nick Fury at the end. He's like, "Here's only like three seconds of Nick Fury." Yeah, which I thought was kind of strange too that he should have been with Captain Marvel, like. But yeah, I, thanks for pointing out because I was like, who is that guy? I'm like 90% That's sure. That's why his name was in the credits then. Yeah. yeah. Okay, perfect. Yes. I'm like 90% you sure. Solve the mystery that right. we're all fixated on that stupid kid that no one knows is that's Ross back there. Well, there's a lot to think, you know, like, oh, okay, you see, you know, Black Panther, Shuri, Okoye, okay, you see Scarlet, you see Falcon, you see Winter Soldier, okay, you see, you know. Yeah. Hank and Pim, Hank Pim, Hank and, Hill and Hank Pim, yeah, and all that shit. You know what I mean? You see what I mean? So it's like there's so they're much. All there, there. You focus on each group, and then you see this random child. I don't know what you guys are talking about because I don't remember yeah, seeing it, that. And then do you remember? remember do you remember in in Iron Man when he crashes in like the middle of like fucking nowhere? Like what is he? Where is he? Like Minnesota no, or something? No, I'm What are you not. talking about, Jen? Wait, what are you talking about? The I'm old talking guy. about who you're talking about. Okay, okay. Ross. General. General Ross. Oh, I don't even remember seeing him in the funeral scene, right? I see the kid, and yeah. I know there's people oh. standing there, and then I he just... He was the old guy behind the kid. Like, he walks away, why the fuck is Captain Yeah, yeah he, he walks, walks towards... That's what yeah, I was thinking. Like, again. why is she just on the stairs by herself? By herself. Yeah. It makes me feel like she's isolated from the rest of them for some reason. She's like, in her mind, she's like, I am the strongest Avenger, right? Right, right? <laughs> like, I could kill you I all right now. I was supposed to stab <laughs> the I was supposed to yeah. win the gauntlet. Her hair size is a lot cooler in the comics. Yeah, her, she does have short hair, but it's a lot cooler. She had three different haircuts in this yeah. movie. Now let's talk but, about yeah. the final part. Captain America. He says he's going to go back and put the stones exactly where they need to be oh. to make sure everything's fine. Now, oof. I want to ask you too. Did you guys catch that Bucky knew about it? No. no. Okay, so I caught this. I don't remember what he said verbatim, but it was something along the lines of, "Are you are you sure about this?" And he's like, "It's going to be okay." And then he says that line of, "Don't do anything stupid." stupid. Yeah. So I didn't catch it the first showing, and I'm like, because I in my mind I kept going, "Why? Why is Bucky so chill? Like I Netflix think- chill about this?" Yeah. And Sam's worried, in my opinion. He's like, dude, I just came back. He's like, do you want me to go with you? Yeah, you want me to go with you, man? I'm with you to the end. He's like, no, we've done that. I know. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) But what did you guys think of that? Well, I thought that conversation was more or less be safe going back, putting the stones back. I I didn't feel, I didn't think they were going to take the turn of he's never coming back. Yeah, so yeah. I kept wondering, how are they going to wrap Cat America's story up without killing him? The way that we all think it was. And they basically did a better version of how Fear 7 tried to do it. With how do we let go of Paul Walker's character, with, but we don't let him die? This one was a lot more... I think they this one was orchestrated a lot better. I, I think they nailed it. Yeah. So 100%. Because I'm not going to lie to you. I, was, I, I felt bad for Sam was when how Sam was freaking out. He's like... He's not like Bruce is like he's not back. He's like bring him back. Mm-hmm. And it, it, I don't know if that was a call back to Ant Man when they were like bring bring Scott yeah. back, but Sam was like fucking like you just see where Soldier's like yeah, dude, it's not new. Like, yeah. But then you know like they're like he's not back. But then I saw when I saw Bucky look over and then he thought like he knew. So when he points, I was like, oh my god, Cat America, what happened? Yeah, like, I missed all. I that. didn't know that he was gonna be old. See, I was like. Like, as we get closer, like, as... This is my favorite hero. I start getting teary. I'm like, what the fuck is going mm-hmm. on? Like, I'm not going to lie to you, Chris. Iron Man messed me up, too. But I was like, <laughs> what are they doing with Cap? But it was it was more of a... Um, somber. Somber. Yeah. Exactly. But I was worried. And then, what did you guys think seeing Sam's facing old Captain... America's ass finally aged. 
<laughs> yeah, I was gonna say he didn't age all of this time, and now all of a sudden he's old man. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand how that happened. Right? Is it because he lived a second life more it's or because, less? Uh, when he was frozen for seven years, he never aged. So, he was frozen right. for seventy years. Yeah. So right. when, when he got out in twenty, but he's. I mean, uh, over the last eleven years, I don't think he's ever really changed. You know, you can too see much. All of them getting older. Yeah. I, I don't see him getting older. Um, we talked about it earlier. So. Him going back leaves two of him yeah. in the same time frame. So one, one's on house arrest, <laughs> hiding, literally. <laughs> I'm just gonna take over the world. Mm-hmm. Just cool. We're gonna we're gonna play it cool. Peggy's like, I don't give a fuck. I got my man. <laughs> I'm good. Do um, so you think it's safe to say that he went back and hid, and yeah. or he he couldn't interfere with the timeline? Right. But he watched his his own. He knew that so, the other Captain America would take care of it. But right. he had a wedding band. That's which what I was They got to. married. Mm-hmm. Or. I mean, they didn't ask, he's like, do you want to tell me about that? And he said, it was, no. I don't want to mix another genre, but it's probably Sam Waltaro from Game of Thrones. He, probably, <laughs> he found the passage. He was like, it's not about the uh-huh. It's not about Khaleesi, you know, being yeah. John's aunt. Spoiler alert. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah. <laughs> wrong Stark. I, 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 I saw a meme that said, good luck to all the Starks. This yes. 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 <laughs> but I yeah. love the way that they, they did that whole Captain America storyline. I mean, if he wasn't going to die, that was the next best thing to do. I, he lived his life. He enjoyed his life. He, even he said went back it. to find the love of his life. He I even think, said it. I, I think Captain America had the best story. Like, Iron Man arguably too, but I think Captain America had the best story. Yeah. I mean, Iron Man laid his, you know, did a lot of work, but I mean, to lose everything mm-hmm. and still fight for us as if it matters yeah. and then make all these friends. And then it was kind of like weird for me because I'm, I always love Captain America is my favorite hero. So in this journey, I'm like, this is it. Mm-hmm. He finally married Peggy. Because I loved it when he's like, oh, yeah, you got married. Tell me about, you want to tell me about the girls? Like, no. no. I don't think I want to. <laughs> and I was just like, and then we see that beautiful song that we have, I think we heard that song before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that, is, it, is that a callback to the first of the, first when she asked him to dance, right? He didn't mm-hmm. want to? Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I, I, he is really into your eyes. No, I fucking love it. It's so amazing. that's great fucking storytelling. It, it right makes there. me feel good because, like, the cool thing about it is, our is I watched my hero. Like, I guess everyone's felt the same with Iron Man, but I watched my hero. Like There's Iron other World. heroes, Patrick. I know, but he's <laughs> Iron Rolled. What? Oh, Iron? <laughs> I gave him the James Harden meme. <laughs> no, but like watching your character because I remember in in 2010 and you're like I'm telling you like oh Cap Mar- Cap Mar- been my hero and you're like you know well, I don't know anything about him and then you were like after one story you're like this guy's fucking badass bro I'm, I'm with <laughs> you to the end of the line yeah that's a, that's it's, the best I I want to say that might be one of my favorite yes. Marvel movies but he gave every like so did Iron Man but he gave everything. He didn't. He's a, he's a guy in the wrong time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He still loved Peggy, even though she was on her deathbed. He's like, that's that's who I should have been with. And she, I, it always broke me too in Civil War was when she's like, I, I I always felt bad that she never got to live your life. Yeah. And then I'm just like, oh my god, this reminds me of Inception too. <laughs> you know, like our Interstellar with Matthew McConaughey. But now it was kind of interesting that they tied it in a way where he could end. Yeah. It's over for him, but. It's a happy ending. A very happy ending. Yeah, like we're Cap- or Iron Man was like, he's, he's the hero, but what about Morgan, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I was happy about that. But what do you guys think about Sam, him passing the shield to Sam? I always had a, a feeling that that, because, I mean, I've, I've heard it. that yeah. you know, The comments just came out recently where he, where yeah. he yeah, it's and pretty he, badass. He was going to take over the shield, so when he, when he handed it off, I was like, okay, that makes sense. That's that's Cap's right hand man anyway. So, who better to? That's true. Actually, you know, we always think that Bucky was it. It was really Sam. well because in the comics, Bucky just become Captain America. Too. Sam, maybe, yeah. yeah, yeah. But like, uh, Bucky's his best friend. But I didn't realize how much Sam became because, like, I, I should have thought of this, but I'm getting all choked up in the movie. I'm like, in Civil War, mm-hmm. the first person to see Captain America when he breaks him out is Sam. Mm-hmm. I'm like, so, and I think it has something to do with Winter Soldier. A callback was member Sam signed up for himself. Even when he didn't know anything, he's just like, Captain America needs my help. Mm-hmm. So that that was probably the most emotional for me, guys. Yeah. I'm getting all chill out. Yeah. Damn, damn you, Cap. It happens, You man. and your ass, man. That's this fucking movie, I tell you. <laughs> damn you. But since we're getting emotional, I just want to say this part. Oh, After, I love you. <laughs> he's a dick. I already know what you're going to say. Oh, right. After we see Captain America has aged and he's lived his wonderful life. Okay. And, okay. You know, everything's great and wonderful. They they cut to a shot of, on the porch and I'm already starting. And Happy's sitting there with 
Oh, Tony's kid. And he says to her, you know, what did he say? Are you hungry? I'm hungry. And she said, yeah. And he said, well, what do you want? And he said, cheeseburgers. And Happy said, you know, your father loved cheeseburgers. Mm Mm-hmm. And he said, I'll give you all the goddamn, or I'll give you all the cheeseburgers you want. And I I fucking, I'm like, of course, Happy's going to be the one (laughs) to fucking get the tear down my fucking eye. Like, oh, okay, man, I was getting you, dude. I thought you were mad that Happy was the one to get the cheeseburgers. I was just like, of course, the guy named Happy. But it's also like a callback to the first Iron Man. He's the one that escapes the cave. I want a cheeseburger. cheeseburger. And I want a press conference. I also thought it was a cool nod to John Fever was his. Also, like uh, Robert Downey, they didn't think that like they're like the guy from from like Swingers is gonna direct Marvel's film, mm-hmm. and it was so cool. He was also on Friends. Yeah, oh man, she has to get emotional <laughs> about it too. Yeah, that actually was another tear when I'm like, oh my god. So I was really happy, even though I know that Happy's like, I'll get you all the cheeseburger you want, but he's over there gonna be hit on Aunt May and Spider Man Far From Home. Good for him. <laughs> Good for him. Who cares? He needs love too. Yes. Yeah. But that, I that, do like him. That whole damn movie had me on the verge of like but straight, that one got you? straight busting out down he the cheek. At me and he's like, God damn Happy. And then when Happy <laughs> said that, I was like, Fucking Happy? Really? <laughs> Happy's gonna be the one that gets me all up. Like, and yes. then the final shot is well, we're going back is because after Cap is old, we see that that iconic dance, and mm. we finally get to see Peggy. And I was telling Chris, I'm like, how many people really didn't know that was Peggy? You think anybody in there was like, who the fuck did he marry? I would hope not. I would think there's got to be one person out there. Cause, really? Because the way they revealed it is, I knew it was Peggy, but for some reason, the way they revealed it made it seem like it may not be Peggy. Who the fuck would it be? It's who else would it be dancing with? That's the whole. That's but the there's probably someone out there who, who didn't pay attention to the callbacks. To all the movie, fucking movies? They didn't want You'd any... be surprised. Especially they Captain America? It when they went to New Jersey in 1970. Actually, that one... was looking at her through the window. That one actually, the tear almost fell down. It was when I saw him with Peggy, and I was like, finally. Uh, finally. You know. That, when I saw that, I kind of like was able to like... Fuck you, happy. Fucking <laughs> 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 happy. I was able to like exhale and be like, you know what? Fucking A. That's I didn't get I didn't get too emotional with that one because I I guess as a fan looking at it like I get why he did why yeah. he did what he did he the, got his dance like the one time he good the, for you, the Cap. one time he's selfish and he's like I'm gonna do something for me yeah and I love that he yeah. it, it was Tony that told him you should try living a little bit Cap yeah. and that he took it yeah. so that that was pretty and cool. he he did. I also felt good for Peggy too. She's like, she had to marry that dipshit from oh. that she talked about Civil War. Even though I was mad that that Cap had done that because I'm like, you know, what about now he changed the timeline? Yes, yeah. it, but yeah, I don't know. Well, we're gonna have to figure this out, Russos. Ser- man, this movie was yeah. intense. But I guess, Chris, we don't really need to do final thoughts because I feel like, well, should we? Because I mean, we basically went through a lot. Of- Lot of points. No, Isn't it I funny? I bet you there's somebody need... out there like you didn't hit this shit, motherfucker. <laughs> no, we, <laughs> happy. We, we did miss a few things, but I feel like we did dive into enough. Yeah, we went through. Um, I don't think we need to do a final thoughts, but maybe rating. a rating. Rating will be fun. Rating, will be fun. Oh, rating, will be fun. rating okay. scaled zero to a hundred. Yeah, hundred percent. So hundred percent being like it is a grace movie. Like ever that's made. America's ass. If you say there it, are no uh, faults in this movie, kind if of. If you thing. say thirteen percent, you're thinking of Guardians. You know, <laughs> part of a plan. There's a twelve. Eleven. Eleven. Fuck. <laughs> is it eleven? <laughs> I think so. We'll find out. Out of a hundred. Yes, just like Rotten Tomatoes. Okay. You wanna go first? No. No. I'll go first. Okay. okay I was I was about to too, but I, I want to hear yours go. It's always be a hero. Chuck did it in the beginning. I give this a ninety-three. Oh. Ninety-three. That's why I raised Shazam. So imagine I didn't raise Shazam. I raised Shazam a ninety-three. The, I think I for me Shazam oh, We're not on Shazam. Well, I'm just, <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, if the stakes are high, Shazam, I love where is Zachary Endgame? Levi. Yeah. But I think <laughs> this is the a, I give it a ninety-three. Ninety-three, okay, why? I feel like this was a nice kind of conclusion to the past. 11 years. A beautiful 11 years. But it's not the end for Marvel. We're no, going to be no. shifting to different We're heroes, getting, getting new heroes. First Asian super is going to be badass. Martial you know what I mean? Movie. So maybe an all-female team-up movie. That too. You know what I Eternals. mean? So we're getting the Eternals. Maybe, you know, Captain Marvel 2. They figured we are out Captain completely. I want to see Kamala Khan. You know, but it, but, That's but oh my god, I know, right? You guys know about Kamala Khan? No. Yeah. Besides our dog. That's my dog. That's, That's my dog. dog. Yeah. Um, That's my dog. And a wrestler. I know the wrestler. <laughs> you know, but it's, it's nice to have everything tied in. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry. But, it was so, nice, but it's nice to have everything tied, tied yeah. in. Yeah. I'm sad 
that we didn't get vision back. Yeah, that bothered me. The that one thing, hurt me because you know. But, could, but the show's gonna have to do. It has to do with the show. I did. I did have a thought on that because I know we talked about it a little bit earlier. Yeah. But Vision wasn't really a human being. No, he was he created. I mean, a human though. Right. Yeah, he was getting. Yeah. But he was. But he, he was created out of there. out of. I mean. It just makes me sad that they didn't acknowledge him at all. That yes, but there that was not that, even a callback. No. To well, nothing. almost everyone got reunited. Almost everyone except for Scarlet. Except for Scarlet Witch. That's why she yes. was so and angry. You know? But I love that Jeremy Renner, who always was kind of like a big brother to yes. her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I love that, like, yes. You know, yeah. Yeah. But I, I feel like everything, there were, there were callbacks, everything was tied in. Mm-hmm. And it's I a, felt like it's this... It's an achievement. That, it yeah. is an achievement. And I was telling Patrick this, like, we weren't fortunate enough to see Star Wars when it first came out. But we did see Han Solo die. We did, <laughs> and up. I gasp every time. He's gonna get shot live on podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so I told Patrick, "This is something," and I asked him, "I go, do you think in in our lifetime, do you think we'll ever see something like this again?" Do you remember no. what I told you? I told him no. Well, he told me no too. But I also said that this is in, this this what's happening this year will never happen again. Whatever. Disney has three big endings: mm-hmm. Toy Story, yeah. Avengers and Star Wars. Star Wars. I mean, that's in our life. No, you'll no. never be like and, and and Game of Thrones and Game of Thrones. We have to throw Game. Of oh Thrones. yeah, Game of Thrones, man. So and, and also uh, oh. Secret Life of Pets. Once oh that comes God. out, Shut they the won't fuck make up. another one. You guys are stupid. <laughs> they will not so make dumb. another one. That movie but was terrible. This movie, <laughs> oh. I didn't like it. Oh, the I did, first one was awful. I, I fell asleep. Oh boy. Anyway, but name was Duke, and that's our dog. I know, but but that Duke's more. They showed too much of the trailers. Um, but back to the <laughs> back to the back, <laughs> was just back to the his butt on your pillow. So. Wow. <laughs> All right, so, so ninety three. I gave it a ninety three. All right, so who who's next? Who wants to? I'll go next. I, I love the ratings. It's always fun because someone drinks the Kool Aid, and I think that this one everyone drank the Kool Aid because it's good. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna give it not a have to. I'm gonna give it a ninety six. Why ninety six? <laughs> I'm gonna give it a high Shane, rating. We're on the line here because <laughs> it it was it was the it was the perfect. <laughs> Movie, I mean, it was a three-hour movie. It was. It did not feel like it was a three-hour movie. It felt like no. a three-hour event. I mean, there's concerts that go on less time than that, and you're, and we're like, you're like over okay, already. fuck this already. Yeah, let's. It was let's a three-hour movie. It kept you captivated from the second the first picture shows on the screen with Hawkeye with his family, and that then they hard, disappear. Right? That was hard. That's the thing. That's black black screen. They have me crying in the first two. Black months. screen to the first shot of the movie. Hawkeye hanging out with his family, and then they just fucking disappeared. And the worst part is, you didn't even know where you were in the time. That's yeah. how it starts. And you didn't, you didn't, really, you wanted to know which kid would get mayo on their hot dog too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he wanted, and then he wanted ketchup. But isn't it funny that, that the Avenger that I think is the, in terms of like popularity, is the weakest had the most impact throughout that. That set the tone for the whole yeah. movie. Was like, and I love the fact because yeah. Hawkeye wasn't part of the Infinity Wars. Yeah, so to so start that movie with him, and we're all like, "Oh, okay, cool." And then his family just disappears, and then dead. That's why I said yeah. I buckled in because I'm like, "All right, we're we're about to go on some shit." <laughs> so three hour movie, all the callbacks, all the full circle. You know, they brought it all back around. Everybody kind of got to reunite. Fuck that teenage Thanos. I mean, <laughs> I, it's been a while since thirty year old. <laughs> it's been a while since I had a movie get me that worked up, since choked up, weekends. sad, <laughs> laughing my ass off to never sad ended. again to a tear coming down my eye. I mean, I'm getting choked up for saying that right now. That's so, that, that's that's pure cinematic. Like, that's that's a great storytelling movie right there. That's and witnessing the first. The fact Star that they Wars. took eleven years, yeah. twenty two movies. And they, they summed it up in this three hour awesomeness. I mean, after listening to Chuck's speech, I'm pumping mine up one more point. I'm going with the 94. 94, 96. <laughs> you want this shit? I want to know. I, I, this, is, this is intense. Oh my God. I'm going to give it an 85. <laughs> 85. Okay. I'm gasping like Han Solo Why? getting stabbed. It was a great movie, and I agree with everything you guys said. It was a roller coaster of emotions. I was crying. Like I said, I had butterflies before we even left the house. This is like, these are movies that I never thought I'd watch. My parents don't understand. You know, <laughs> you're in your 40s. Why do you care? Because I tree. care. 
right? Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah. rude every time. I cry yeah. every time. Uh, raccoon. Um, <laughs> the, I had some questions, right? And it took us a lot of talking to actually find Understand. reasonable Why? answers. It's right? fun, though, right? Like, and going yeah. back and forth. So I feel like, like you said, the average person isn't going to think of these things. Like, how did... Captain Marvel know where to go to find Tony Stark. Ooh, I never, never said that. Did I, that. Did I say yes, that on the mic? Did. No, did we, did we not talk about that? I don't think oh, we talked about Not it. on the mic. So my theory for for that question... I'm going to laugh if we did talk about it. Okay, if we did... Well, we'll just bring it up, yeah. If we did, just cut this. No, I'm not. Okay, gonna, right? so my theory is at the end of Captain Marvel, the teaser is her showing up and saying, where's Fury? Yeah, I don't think we did talk about it yet. No. And... In this movie, the first thing we see with her is her saving Tony. Mm-hmm. How did she find Tony? I think what happens is the Avengers fill her in. Rocket helps her track down. It's not the Milano. What is it now? I think we did talk about this because that part sounds familiar. We talked about it. The Benatar. The Benatar. We talked about it before yeah. we started this. The Benatar, and that's how she was able to find oh. them so quickly and bring them back. Because when she does land on Earth, you said it. Burn. Nobody questioned. No one questioned. No one asked. Who the fuck are you? Exactly. Who the fuck are you? How did you bring a ship down from space? You know, and I think that would have been nice to see. Yeah, that would be good. But they kind of expected you to fill that in. Right? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, I understand where you're coming there from. There are some yeah. places where they expect us, I feel, to assume. But yes. I, didn't, I didn't want to assume on that. And I didn't and, want to assume because now right. I don't really know. I agree with what you're saying. It sounds right. Right, it sounds perfect. <laughs> it makes sense. Right. And to be fair, that whole teaser of him dropping the thing and her s- signal showing up, we were supposed to get hyped for for ending. Yeah, I was expecting them to show us that page. Or, something, yeah. and then something. and then the after credit scene where she wears Fury. We're oh shit, she's about to fuck some shit up. Yeah, yeah. and she's be- only in the movie what three four times. And Make which, it a four hour with movie with three different we're haircuts. Which three different haircuts. Which brings me to the other thing is mm-hmm. I don't think she had enough time in the movie. Mm-hmm. I don't think I don't even think they gave the Guardians enough time in the movie. Right? Yeah. I mean, they were a big part of Infinity War, and mm-hmm. we kind of only saw them for a few minutes. So I, I think the movie was great overall. I just think that there were some holes. Mm-hmm. I don't need you to tell me every last detail, but there are some major things that I think you should have told me. And you want yeah. some balance. Yes. It's funny. I read that the reason I was, I actually asked when we were watching the trailers before this movie came out, like, why are some of the heroes not as prominent? They said that if you had more screen time in Infinity War, you lost it when it came to Endgame because we had, because when Cap, didn't have much time. People were mad. Like, why didn't Cap have much mm-hmm. anymore? They're like, we're, but we're saving it. Because right. so, a lot of people are like, where's Ant Man? They're like, he's coming. Yeah. So that's why the Guardians, unfortunately. But Rocket had a prominent, and so did Nebula, which was nice because those two, mm-hmm. you know, are not dominant characters. No. And Rocket's one of my favorites. And to, be, to be fair, none of the Guardians or Black Panther or yeah, I mean, yeah, Strange, I, mean I just, not I just right. called out the Guardians. Right. But that's a good. That's a good point. Yeah, for a lot of people, they. And I, and I, I don't think. You should read the Rocket and Groot series. It's really <laughs> cute. Isn't I can it? let you borrow that too. Because okay. <laughs> I, I did read that, that, that it, it was intentional to have the original Avengers. Yes, it was all yeah. to, to stay to stay alive. Yeah, for this it would all go movie. back to yeah. the six. So, so I get that point. Eighty five, ninety six. I was ninety four. I bumped off one. Oh Patrick, what uh, do you rate this movie? What do I? Uh, and I swear, this is this is gonna be interesting because. You're gonna be a piece of shit. Go get the gun. Go get the gun. (laughs) Okay, you ready? (laughs) No, I know. I'm just fucking. It's really good. I would definitely give it a 78. Wow. (laughs) Your face. It's still passing. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But I love getting her on these reviews. I'll do this once in a while. We want to start doing some of this live. Well, not live, but like record, and then Patrick edits the video because. No one gets to see, like, I, I literally wanted to just, like, literally punch him in his face right now. Like, you fucking <laughs> shitting me at 78? What the fuck did you just watch? I'm, I'm kidding, but my favorite superhero film is The Dark Knight. I always thought Ooh, that that was... 100 Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I yeah. rated that one, like, a 90, like, a 98. 125. It's almost... So this Wait, one I, I, I rate as a 90. I haven't seen a film that... Superhero film that's blown me away since The, the Dark, Dark Knight. Knight. Ooh, I love to me, Knight. what makes this film exciting is... As I always think of Tony Stark's part of the journey is the end. Mm-hmm. They ended it correctly. Where there is no, there's more coming. This is it for this story. Wait, did you give your rating? Yeah. He uh, said 98. a 98. 98. Okay. 98. I missed it. Sorry. So a 98. I think this is a near perfect film. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. But it's near perfect in the sense of, 
I don't think we're ever going to see this many characters yeah. share the screen. And it kind of, and actually works. Like, because we're, like, Shannon has a good point. At some point, I'm like, oh, maybe the Guardians will say a little bit more. But I feel like these, this film goes hand in hand with Infinity War. Like, in my, my mind, they're just one film, really. If you mm-hmm. just, you know. Yeah. So a really I think long that ass film. also, yeah. I mean, the CGI is fantastic. And this, yes. the villain's good. There's heart. There, it's just emotional. Like it, this film, to me, for a lot of us, we're talking, we're getting all teary. This isn't a film no. anymore. We actually feel like we're there. Right. We're next to heroes. And I always compare it to, and one more time, it's coming back. Oh, boy. Films like this in Star Wars or like Inception <laughs> transcend the genre of yeah. film. Yeah. Because when people are like, it's just a movie, why do you guys get so big deal right. out of it? It's not just a movie. It's not just that's a movie. That's the thing. That's what that's what's cool about film is it's stories. Are you getting joked up? Oh my no, god! Well, oh, usually when people put on a movie, they expect to be entertained yeah. just to pass the time for two two hours. Yeah, I want. I just want to. I just want to have a good time. This but one's like. This one's like. When you anticipate a movie, yeah. that's when you know they that they they did their damn job. We counted down the minutes. Yeah, yeah. So, when you avoid, so not, if you would, when you avoid social media, it's hard. It's very hard. Especially this day and age when you have so avoid don't, don't social media. Anything, anything, no. So you don't want to know anything for a three hour movie. Yeah. That tells you something. Like for me, I didn't want to say goodbye. Like at one point, yeah. I'm like, I don't, I don't want this to end. But then I'm like, but it has to end because mm-hmm. not it, when it ends, you kind of, there's a purpose. Like now we can look back at those 11 years and be like, man, those are some fucking badass mm-hmm. times. How many of us really thought in a way that this shit would still last? After Iron Man 3? No. Never. No. no. Oh, after Iron Man 3. I was already throwing the towel after <laughs> Iron Man 2. I'm like, this is fucked. <laughs> but uh, no, I, I just think that this is a cinematic event. Now, Chris believes, and you, you're you pretty much, a lot of you are right. This is your the greatest film in your life. In your lifetime. In, in my lifetime, yes. For me, this is, I guess, tied with The Force Awakens. I, I didn't think we'd get another Star Wars. So to me, that's the greatest. Like Because also... I look at the cinematic experience for me on that one real quick. Yeah. I had to wait in line to get a fucking seat. Here I can just reserve, you know, mm-hmm. but uh, but I think that this film, going back to Endgame, it ends in a way that satisfies everyone. I everyone. think everyone is pretty much satisfied. Mm-hmm. Sure. Most part. Like, Shannon had, the, in my opinion, you saved this podcast. You had the best questions because we were able to go through <laughs> these events. Because some of us kind of, I breezed through a little bit of it too, but I feel like that this film satisfies everyone. Like, yeah. how many times can you walk out of a film and be like, it's like midnight. It could have been midnight. You and I could have, all four of us been like, let's go back even one time. Fuck it. Oh, absolutely. Who cares about work? Like, really? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> you know, it's, this morning, I, I uh huh. And plus, I don't think I've ever been this attached to characters outside yes. of Star Seriously. Wars. Seriously. Yes. I, 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 no, yes. Yeah, I haven't been this attached where I'm like, Captain America's my god. Like, I don't, yeah. I want to know what he's going to do. So, yeah, no, I I drank the Kool Aid. There's only, there's only <laughs> certain movies that any, anybody sitting here right now. Your favorite movie, you can go back and recite the whole thing from beginning to end. Yes, I can. Right? Yeah. Then there's movies like, yeah, I think I, I think I remember seeing that one. This is one of those where, even with this movie, all the callbacks, you're like, I remember that. Yeah. Oh, it's from that this. was fucking awesome. Oh, it's this. Yeah. Oh, it's that. Yeah. And that's yeah. what I like. Oh, that's about. Iron Man 3. I love that it was tight knit where they actually didn't just pick a few films. They went through like the whole, every, every, everything. Yeah. Except, everything. Except Vision. Except Vision. Which is really yeah. disappointing. I guess that, that is the, that is the only part. And Captain Marvel. And Captain Marvel, yeah. But I, think I think that's the biggest disappointment. That was, yeah. That is the biggest problem because they put so much... She was the end credits. Yes. Twice. They, but they also put so much promotion mm-hmm. around her before her movie, then her movie came, and yeah. then even the promotion for Endgame. It was I all mean, hype. They have a it pop made it seem like of she her was the with her hands out like she use her blasters. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. What the fuck? But the biggest thing that I gave in that day was <laughs> this is the biggest... Fan service love letter to the fans yeah. saying thanks for being on this journey. Yeah. It Way wasn't a waste of time. Right. It yeah. wasn't. It wasn't a waste. It wasn't a Martha man. It no, was a it wasn't. real battle. But I also like the end scene credits where the the six originals they get a special yeah, yeah. end credit uh, thing. They do the signatures yeah. and all that. Yeah, because I mean they took a risk. and they got their hands. In front of the Chinese theater. Yeah. So but I love that the, there that. was no post credits too. No post credits, no. but it's just that that, cl- that clinging, that clinging that which signifies Iron Man. The original Iron and Man. Like I said, without that, that's what's really cool. Is that it only took them eleven years to figure. You know, like, but it's, it's been a great eleven years. Yes, yeah. <laughs> they faltered. It's not like they were perfect. No, they weren't. But 
they took their time to develop a story. Yeah. Like, like for a lot of us, we're like, I didn't know who Thanos was in 2012. I'm like, who the fuck's this guy? Right. No, I, I knew I who Thanos was. Who the fuck is Thanos? <laughs> no idea. I knew, and I knew Thanos from growing up reading the comics. Yeah, because I had only read the comics of Captain America. I did the central, yeah. so I didn't go through the Infinity Store. But I was like, wow, well, I, I think we started down. getting, you first started getting into comics right after that. And then I yeah. slowly, I started slowly fall. I was late. Yeah. But, was but, but you got into late. more of the Marvel stuff yeah. after. Yeah, I need to know. After that, yeah. Because yeah, after Captain America was Ant Man, I'm like, Ant Man's a shit. And she's like, that's stupid. And then, and then I then got she's into like, that's two years after. I love Ant Man. Yeah. 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 And growing up, I had I comic Paul books all over. Perfect. perfect. And real quick here, like, the best part was seeing the final cameo that they're saying of Stan Lee. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Without him, this is not possible. But. Outside of Stanley, we should also be thanking some of the other Jack Kirby, Steve mm-hmm. Dicko. That's like, why it was nice to see um, Jim Starlin, yes. who created Thanos. Like, yes. Yeah. You know. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm like, I can't wait for the next, uh, whatever was next for them. But at least I know that this is a definite story. The stakes were real. That's what I liked about this, too. Stakes were real. People who died in the Soul Stone didn't come back. No matter no. how much we wanted it, it was permanent. Mm-hmm. And that's what matters. That was a great so, ending. Except we don't know where Gamora is. Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> yeah, where's Gamora? Why is Gamora? What is Gamora? We'll but maybe out. They, they left her out for the next gal- yeah. galaxy Guardians. Or Guardians of, as Guardians of the Galaxy, I should say. As Guardians. <laughs> as Guardians. <laughs> oh yeah, let's. Oh, should we talk about that real quick here? Uh, Thor joining the Guardians. Thor. Should we talk about that? No, Thor. So much shit we fucking. Made. I know. It's crazy, right? Thor gives up his. Yeah, wait, let's bring that up. Yeah, we'll do that one real quick. And I think His Valkyrie land. is a badass. Which Valkyrie she is very awesome. I love screen. Tessa Thompson. I watch anything she's in. Um, but yes, Valkyrie is a badass. It'll be interesting. I think Thor's story, I thought, should have wrapped up. Mm-hmm. But we'll see what they do. I think it would have been cool all three of them had, you know, did your service. Especially mm-hmm. Thor. He's been around for 1,500 years. Didn't he sign up for another movie? Uh, well, he's going to have to now. Yeah, so. He's the only one, after Ragnarok, I think that they felt there's still life in this character. Well, yeah. he's still got to get the Jane. Yeah. So there's still a story yeah. to tell. But it was nice to see him kind of give up Asgard yes. and being king and hang over to yeah. somebody who wants to rule yeah. and who wants to lead because he's, I think he's just trying to figure out, his, like you said, his purpose. What is his purpose? He's trying to figure yeah, out the man he's yeah. supposed to Yeah, because Cat figured out his purpose. Iron Man, you know, died with his purpose. Yeah. <laughs> But still, yeah, there's, so there's one more movie with that. I thought it was kind of cool. It's going to be funny watching them interact. It's going to be funny watching Quill and Thor figure out who really is going to lead the Guardians. <laughs> well, Rocket, who has has quite the relationship with both, is going to be fucking with them. I love yeah, it. Uh-huh. I love it. I can't It'll wait for so it. It'll be so much fun. I it's going to be Ooh, fun. Ooh, yes, use knives. <laughs> and that's I love cool, Mantis. Yeah. So we'll get one more Thor film. We don't. I don't know what necessarily is going to happen with Hulk. I'm curious. He has one more. Or Mark Ruffalo has one more film in his contract. Well, we, we need a. We need. A, we need a decent Hulk movie. Yeah, yeah it's, the it's gonna be still, hard with the rights. I know. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? That's the only thing out of this whole story we've lived through is a decent Hulk movie. Four four movies. Am I right? Four movies. Two different actors. Three different actors. Three different no, actors. Two. No, two. Eric Bana doesn't count. He doesn't count. No. Oh, oh I forgot about that. Yeah. Movie. No. Edward <laughs> <laughs> Norton and Mark Ruffalo. Yes. Yeah, they were terrible. Yeah. So we need we need a decent Hulk movie. All right. So I think that that wraps up Avengers <laughs> Endgame. Yes, that wraps does. up America's ass. That that wraps up eleven now years. Time rest. Yes, eleven time years. Rest. So that wraps up Avengers Endgame. Thanks to. Shannon and Chuck for coming on. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. It was us. a lot of fun. I don't think we'll do another review. Who knows? Maybe I don't. I don't know. We'll see. We're actually going to watch it a couple more times. If we did, I would force whoever was with us to talk about everything else, which would <laughs> fuck them over because I can't talk. About it. No, we didn't talk about that, man. We don't want to talk about that anymore. But I think that was fun. We'll definitely have them back on soon. Mm-hmm. Um, look at Grisa. Marvel got its full episode, which I know you're always complaining that Star Wars gets one, but you know. This one was worth it. This one was totally worth it. In all fairness, we did talk about Star Wars. Yeah, yeah like well, 25% wait, of it was Star wait, Wars. We didn't. Patrick did. <laughs> <laughs> we joined I'm, in. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love that damn friendship as much as I love Marvel. But but you know what's funny? If you really think about it, though, Marvel learned a lot from Star Wars, though. That's what a lot of the callbacks, every time there's a hand cut off, it's a callback. It's always the left hand, too. Yeah. Do you ever notice that? Hmm. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, He's that's right. true. He's right, yes. It's always the left hand. So, this is, Rick 
Yeah, wow. that's true. So this is the end of the episode. Chris. That's it. Do you think you can actually memorize it? Oh, I don't have the script. I think I can do it, though. Um, I think I can do this, right? I can do, you this. Can do this. Okay. If this is your first time listening, please subscribe. You can listen to us on the following platforms. Spotify, Apple, SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, CastBox, Podbean, Radio Public, Overcast, Overcast Stitcher. Stitcher. I, I have, I'm Stitcher. looking at it. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. I'm like, oh, shit, brain fart. You can also follow us on social media at TOC Movies. On Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Everyone thinks we're token up. <laughs> I know, right? We're <laughs> Maybe we are. Don't judge. You know, oh, yeah. our lives. Um, <laughs> you can also like us on Facebook at Tomorrow Comes Movies. And please, if you have not yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel where we do Funko Hauls, Mystery Boxes, Comic-Con coverage, interviews, and much more. It's YouTube.com slash T-O- Tomorrow Comes Movies. Shit. <laughs> How do you not know your own channel? Man. I don't know. Wait, what was it? YouTube? Box? It's YouTube.com slash Tomorrow Counts Movies. Thank you. Perfect. Did you mention our website? As the main hub to find everything you need. <laughs> Is it tomorrow's com- Tomorrow Comes Movies.com? T O C Movies.com. That's oh. where you get it. Get it all together. Make it easier for me. And uh, <laughs> we're going to be going to Anna Manga in Pomona, California for August 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Yes, we are. We have a few to announce. Oh, yes. I didn't, I'm not going to announce on this one. Okay. But uh, that is it. So. As always, your hosts are the Patrick and... Carissa. Shit, what's the title? <laughs> um, We're on your left. No worries, Cap. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> no worries, Cap. We're always on your left. Episode 83. Until next time, stay tuned for another episode of Tomorrow Comes Movies. Well, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, this is Kyle Phillips. I hope you enjoyed and. Uh, Oh, you do more stuff with tomorrow comes movies.